Hello again, friends. Welcome back to Twitch.tv slash Trooper Barry, and welcome back to the Long Dark, where the road to 500 days continues. And when you're about to enter what are probably some of the most challenging zones in the game, and ones that could throw up the most curveballs in our pursuit of the remaining recipes and the remaining prepper caches. When last we left our Astrid, she had uh, finished up her business in Mountain Town and HRV, getting both recipes and then finding both prepper caches, both empty. So now we, we, we've uh, doubled back to Mystery Lake, where we got maybe uh, one slight bit of business. Um, one thing I, uh, we, we did use our our two uh, sets of acorn grounds to make the Lily's pancakes and to make the stalker pie. Uh, we have more acorns, but uh, we do not have the heavy hammer needed to process them. So before we go on to Pleasant Valley, which, which is our goal for today, um, what we're going to do, we're going to set out from Trappers. We're going to go to... I think we're going to go to the camp office real quick. Um, we'll probably dump some heavier stuff. And then... If there's not a hammer immediately available... We might make a quick detour. Go back into the muskeg. Go to Spence's, where I know there's a hammer, because that's where we made our arrowheads. Crack some... Uh, yeah, crack the acorns. And then we'll go back in, go to the dam, and then make our way into Pleasant Valley, where we will, we will begin looting with a particular focus, again, on the recipe, finding the prepper cache, and also finding a bunch of vegetables. Because from what I understand, um, the remaining recipes, I think there's one in PV, one in Ash Canyon, and there's also going to be the... Uh, whichever one is in the prepper cache, um, they're going to require... Uh, potatoes, carrots, and I believe one needs corn. And fortunately, we have saved some corn. I had, uh, well, I, I didn't know that we were going to need to, but I think we just, as it happened, we had some left over uh, from all the, uh, the, the uh, <laughs> silly amounts of gear we brought back from uh, from the uh, from the story caches, the tales caches. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. So first things first, let's let's get on the road and get back to camp office. We'll do. We'll do some weight management, and then start the mosey back into the Sat Swamp. Now, not a, I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, what the remaining recipes have, but I think I, I forget who was. You know, someone was in chat earlier. I say much earlier, like back, like it was it a month ago when we were playing this character regularly, and then they said uh, to make sure to save some corn for one of the recipes. So, and I, I don't know uh, either the uh, the Ash Canyon recipe. I don't know what's going to be in there, um, and then the prepper pie. Um, I don't know, but the the name of it was suggest. It is well, most hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Hey, mighty hi, welcome in. Good to see you. As the name probably suggests, you know, a bunch of stuff you can just find out on the land. You know, rose hips, mushrooms, maybe some burdock, etc. How's your weekend going so far, mighty hi? I uh, I did see. Oh right, um. 
I, like, I, I just I saw that clip of yours in Koru's channel, the uh, the uh, the death spaghetti one. That was uh, that was most unfortunate, but also very relatable. You're good. Oh yeah, good, yeah, good to hear. Uh, he's got a red skull on him. I'm not supposed to be here. At the moment. Move! Okay. Okay! Fuck oh, yeah, there's a bush here right there. Oh, that would explain the first part. Haha! -ha. Yeah, yeah, we're just getting going here. Um. Oh, there's a, there's a wolf here right there. Oh, go away. Don't know why people are actually swear or aggravate. Well, you know, it's it's. It, I I think of it. You know, it, it it's uh, it, it's I think of it as a nice welcome and a, a little bit of free advertising. And hey, you know, if 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 you happen across someone who vibes with that, so much the better. Yeah, I I've yet I've yet to find one that was I guess so objectionable or so filthy. That I, or yeah, you know, I found a clip of uh, that that I I felt embarrassed for the streamer. You, you I mean, usually it, it's honestly what what happens more often than not is a, we'll, you'll just do the random shout out clip, and then people will go, "Wow, I don't remember that. Who clipped that?" And it'll or it'll be some absolutely strange thing that you know. It's like what people usually do when they like uh. Viewers will, you know, they miss something, and then they'll they'll use the the clip mechanism to like catch the last thirty seconds of the stream, and so you'll you'll get just these bonkers, random bits. Yeah. We are remarkably light. Do I have all the things? I think I do. Worst thing is you can't can you not delete them? I I've usually found I can. Um there the uh if you go on the Twitch website, the uh, the clip manager should let you delete any clips that have been made of your channel. As far as I know anyway. I don't know, maybe maybe there's some restrictions I haven't heard of. It's just a random place for a piece of coal, but I am definitely here for it. But yeah, I've had people do that. Um, I think I had, I think I had, had that happen a few times during the Darkest Dungeon streams. Um, you know, they, they missed you know this, that, and the other thing, and you know they used that to rewind, and then they just left that clip in there. So. I, you just go back, you, you click the little box next to it, and then you can say delete this clip, and the Twitch will delete it for you. Okay, so now if we take a right here, that should put us on the path to go to camp office or at the very least we'll be near the uh, one of the lookout towers that guy once again I'm 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 hearing <laughs> I'm hearing ptarmigan is at the corner the corner the corner of my ear is that even a thing Okay, yep, there we go. There's the turnoff. Ok, 
Okay, we got yeah, we got deer and bun buns, so that's a pretty good indicator of no wolves in the area. Otherwise everyone would be scattering. Instead they're gonna scatter because of me. I was thinking, uh, yeah, we got deer and you got rabbits there. And I think we have leftover ptarmigan meat sitting out front of camp office. We could make some more briar house pie if we were so inclined. But I don't know if you, if you have. Well, as, as I keep saying, or at least as I kept saying yesterday, we are, we're not in a rush, you know. We, as much as as a task oriented as we are, there is still you know plenty of things we can do in the meantime. That's a sharp ninety degree turn there, don't you think? That was a very satisfying thump, I gotta say. Okay, um, let's see, how hefty are you? Well, you're decently hefty. Wow, and the crows are already here. Man, they waste no time. Nope, nope, drop. Kept hitting the wrong key. How dare I? Wow, oh wow, those are low flying crows too. Good grief. Y'all spooked me. You can you can at least drop some feathers while you're here. Goodness. Yeah, it's good good to keep our head in a swivel in case there are any uh any neighborhood jerk faces about. Because who knows how far the sun is going to travel with, you know, the wind going where it is. Yeah, it's probably going to... They're falling... The, yeah, it's going to drift that way. And we know that there's at least some wolves that like to hang out that way. So, best to be cautious. So I've, I've already... I, I, I've memorably lost at least one run to having meat on my person while at harvesting or cooking. And just my luck, that was uh, that was in the aftermath of my first uh, moose kill. Which would have made me mad if not for the fact it also happened like literally minutes before Hinterland dropped the uh, the update that caused the uh, the great wipening of December 2022. Okay, well, it looks like we didn't actually need to go in search of more venison, but heck it, here we are. Okay, now just to check real quick, are there any? Did I leave a hammer? Oh, I did leave a hammer. Nice. I I I really should make a note of that. Camp office. Do 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 do. There. 
So that removes the need to backtrack to Forlorn Muskeg then. Hooray! Okay, we got yeah, we got plenty. You know, we got we got you know plenty of all of the things there. Um, let's at least get these you know close to their close to their cousins. Okay. Also, let me check the uh, if we want to make the Briar House Pie. We got need ptarmigan. We got ptarmigan out there. We can go get more. Venison, we got plenty. We need oil, water, flour. I also need rabbit, which I did not see out there. What is that? Ooh, nice. We have we do have corn here. Excellent. Gonna make life a lot easier. Well, we're working on that, Astrid, but I, I, I'm going to need you to put in just a little more work. Did the Tarbigans run off? I think the Tarbigans ran off. Well, bother. Well, uh, yeah, we got some, uh, we do have some, uh, some very colorful Tarbigan, uh, meat sitting there. So what do you say we go get some rabbit, and then we'll we'll have Astrid cook herself up some Briar House pie. Get her tum tum nice and full. Okay, always good to look both ways for you across the street. Even in, even in the post-apocalypse. I guess I, I should care about, you know, preserving well-fed, you know, just in case this ends up being an extended hunt. There we go. And I, I'm just keeping the regular arrows out in case the, in case a wolf drops by. We're, we're not going to use the, the condition on those for the bun buns. That would be wasteful. Okay, we have... Let's see. We got deer. We got plenty of deer. Only the one bun bun, though. I was kind of hoping for more. But, you know... Survivors of the post-apocalypse can't be choosers, I suppose. Wow, that was terrible. Hey, Chanelia, welcome in. Good to see ya. How you doing? How's your Sunday going? Grab this real quick. We need to uh, we need to dispense with this little bun bun here if we're gonna make the right kind of pie. And it seems to be moving in a rather a rather strange pattern, if I do say so myself. Okay, well, that was just dumb. Relaxing today. Nice. Good good use of a Sunday. I would love to have Astrid join... Actually, hang on real quick. Yeah, I'll we'll have, Ast have Astrid join you here shortly. Okay, oh, yeah, now that was a surprise I will there. live Where? here. This is my new home. Are you, you like in a it? snow shelter there? Is little band? Yeah, it looks like a snow shelter. Comfortable.
Please die. You're dying. Please die. Yeah, I, I can. Uh, I mean, it, it's not a. That's not a bad position from which to snipe a bear, but you better get it in one because it, it will come after you. I'm doing okay. Um, had to work today. Yeah, you know, it's uh, one of those one-day weekends I have every so often, but it's all right because after you know after work tomorrow, um, I will be off for the next uh, the next two weeks. I go, I'm going uh, going on a holiday. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Thank this you. Come in handy. Yep, I, uh, yep. Work tomorrow, off Tuesday, off Wednesday, and then I get on an airplane. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Now I have, uh, a. <laughs> I have lots to do in between now and then. You know, the usual stuff. Planning. Packing. Cleaning. Always with the cleaning. I, you know, like I said before, I, I, I'm not entirely sure what the, what the, uh, what, what makes you want to clean before, you know, you leave. I mean, it's one thing if you have someone coming over to house sit. You know, someone's going to look after your place while you're out. That makes total sense. But if it's just you... Is that necessary? I don't know. But I'm probably going to do it anyway. I, I think, you know, I think Daunt uh, uh, was, I think it was here yesterday, and she was saying, like, the, the idea behind that is, you know, you, you come home to a clean house, and it's, you, you're probably a little, a little tired from making the trip back, so it's, it's, it's a relief not to have to come back and clean, whereas you just clean before you go. And I can see that. Uh, you wanted to see she can shoot a bear from the snow shelter, one of your first runs. Wow! Well, good shooting by you then. And good on you, not just uh, you know, not just making the shot, but keeping your cool to do so. Okay. Well, now now that we have uh, a kind of cleaned out the local wildlife, we can get Astrid inside and then make with the cooking. Okay. Well, let, yeah. Let's start with the bun bun. And see how much. Ooh, nice. It's more than a kilogram, so we can make two Briar House pies. Just do the whole thing in one go. What do you say? There we go. Love, love those squishy sounds right at the end. They are very, very evocative. Oh, and I, I did have that, uh, did have that deer hide on me this whole time, didn't I? We should do something about that. There we go. Oh, nice! More than a more than a kilogram of ptarmigan too. So we can. Uh, we can make some. Uh, we can make two. Yeah, so two two ptarmigan, two rabbit. So let's just grab a kilogram of venison. Perfect. Okay, and then what else do we need to make the Briar House pie? We need oil and flour. Well, we have oil and we have flour. 
Done and done. Relocate those for just a second. Uh, we'll take that. Um, oh yeah, there, there's our our bearskin bedroll that we have uh, we have decided to leave behind just for uh, for mobility purposes. And we'll grab the guaranteed skillet. So now, if we do this, we can make two Briar House pies at once. That can be. Oh, oh, good grief. Apparently hitting tab makes me put it down. Okay then. Yeah, so we'll have one for dinner, and that will be one for Astrid's breakfast tomorrow. There. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to those. First things first, got to get the fire started. Okay, use that. Do we have a book? We do have a book. Let's use the book. Actually, no, let's not. Well, it doesn't matter. We got a 100% chance anyway. Oh yeah, uh, I think was uh, Chinelia. I think you ha I think I saw on your stream, you are playing uh, Frostpunk these days. How are you liking that? Okay. Yes, you please make the Briar House pie. Yeah, all I can think about is food. Steady on, Astrid. You're gonna have plenty of food. And have you make a Briar House pie. Okay, 45, 20. Okay, that took about 20 minutes just to prepare. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Okay. And now what did that leave? And yeah, we got, yeah, we got a little ptarmigan and a little rabbit. But that's fine. We can just ditch those outside. Yeah, drop the flour, drop the oil. And we'll grab that, bring that inside. I didn't want to actually try to pluck the feathers off this thing, because like, at minimum, that's a 90 minute job. And I don't know that Astrid has the uh, as the calories in her to do that. There we go. One gourmet Briar House pie, a pie any meat eater would love. Lunchbox ready. And look at that. Look at that. Uh, look at that bar fill up. It does look tasty. It, uh, yeah, the, uh, very, very nicely they got the little, the little, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the slats in there to not only let the steam come out, but also I, I'm sure let the aroma fly, you know, uh, d waft out the, uh, the cooking rabbit, ptarmigan, and venison. You know, some, uh, I was thinking yeah, maybe you throw some spices in there, but you know what? It, it's it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I mean, look at that. Hang on. No, look at that. Although it's, it's weird. It's it's weird. if I if I tilt this enough, it actually takes on a strange green hue. I don't. I don't not entirely sure why. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can go there. And then you two can reclaim your places. 
Nice. Okay. And I think we will deposit that pie outdoors. Yeah, we are we are gorged. I think what is that? What does what does what does gorge do? I th does that? I should check that. Oh, reduces your max stamina. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Yeah, so I think... Um, yeah, I think it, uh, it, did, it took, a, uh, took a pretty significant chunk out of our stamina. Out of the little eyeball meter there. Okay, so that's done. Right. Um, oh, shoot. I should have used the rest of that fire. It's fine. It's fine, though. Um, yeah, because what I was... The other thing we were going to do is... Okay. Yeah, I was going to cook and process those acorns we have in our pack. And how do you heal? Oh, um, let's see. Okay, yeah, so um, I don't think it heals. It, it gives you extra max condition. So, like, if you notice, um, if you see the, uh, yeah, the, the, the little, that, the, that blue bar would, would be much smaller because you know, the, that, that, that's what you get from, uh, from well-fed. But now the big bar is, that bar is bigger because then we got nourished. So that gives us a couple hours of uh, extra max health. I think it, it also it all, apparently it cures cabin fever too, but we don't have any at the moment, so that's not exactly a concern, right? Now, if I'd remembered, I'd just start this again. But alas. So, yeah, well, your belly is full again. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Chenelia. You know, you are, you just had this huge, Come on, Empire. Come on. this, you know, this big, meaty pie. And you're, it's, it's so gourmet and so... I guess decadent that you know you just you just can't you're it's it's like a, it's a, it's a food coma basically. Hour okay let's go twenty minutes good should give us just enough time to oh shoot okay no oh wow okay that takes way longer than I thought well let's, we're just gonna have to do it. Hang on. Yeah, I should have put the water on for longer if I knew the, the acorns were going to take that long. Okay, that's got two hours. Good. So we should be able to do the rest of these. There we go. And we should have enough time on the fire. No, no. Well, actually, no, yes. Just not yet. We have to... Is we have to sit, we have to spend one whole minute, excuse me, two whole minutes making a large piles of prepared acorns. I'm sure that was some intense pile making. There we go. Good. 
And now we can turn those into acorn grounds with our, our big heckin' hammer. Uh, let's see, where it is? Okay, there we go. Okay, that's going to take 15, take 30 minutes. Awesome. Let's do it. And we have acorn grounds. Nice, we have acorn grounds. Now, we're not going to use that for coffee. Instead, that is, I think, uh, that is going to be fodder for any future recipes because I th I think I'm fairly sure anyway that uh, at least one of the recipes we have yet to find is going to use acorn grounds and so rather than waiting until we have the recipe we'll, be, we'll, we'll use this time to get out ahead of it and make some now Okay, our bow's at 59%. That's not, that's not bad, but we might want to make a spare at some point. Also, yes. Go get that down off that burb. There we go. Uh, oh, right. How is our clothing? Um, surprisingly okay for having been attacked by an Aurora wolf recently. Okay, can we find the bed? Where is bed? There is bed. Okay. Okay, so now that we don't have to go back to Forlorn Muskeg to use a hammer, because we left one here. What I think we'll do instead is, we'll, 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 uh, yeah, we'll do some weight management here. And then I think we will, yeah, we'll, we'll go on to the dam and then we'll move into Pleasant Valley. And we'll start looting up there because we haven't been there since, uh, you know, since the update dropped. Or I guess since the food update dropped. I, I should I should be more specific. Yeah, I cannot can't actually see what we're doing here. So We'll just try to get close to daylight, and I'm okay with, you know, letting Astrid get a little hungry, because we know there's a big heckin' pie just waiting out there. Oh, did I drop anything? No, that's... Actually, we'll go ahead and grab that, take that downstairs. There we go. Yeah, and we'll make sure to get the pie on our way out. We'll drop the hammer, because we've no more need for it here. Yeah, we got we got some down, we got feathers, we got burdock, we got our that. You know, very very, very naturalist we're, uh, thing we're doing here. Also, let's probably don't need that much water. There we go. Yeah, I think in terms of, like, uh, pack management, we're fine. Yeah, we got, we got our weapons. We got our tools. Got some torches. The Yeah, the bow. Yeah, the bow's a bit of a thing. Okay, that's even worse. We're not doing that. Yeah, no, no uh, spare clothing except the uh, Krampens. We don't plan on uh, climbing anytime soon. We got meds. Oh, we, we could 
Yeah, we could make some more bandages. We probably should make some more bandages. Okay, yeah, we got that. Yeah, we'll grab a little bit more firewood as we go. That should be fine. Okay. Um, oh, right. Uh, before we go, make sure we grab one can of corn. Because we know uh, the recipe waiting for us in Pleasant Valley is going to require a big old can of corn. Is that well, it's four? Okay, it says well, four hundred, still four hundred calories. Hmm. Yeah. Now here's what makes me suspicious. According to the game, if I hit the tab button there, we're not giving off any stink. But... Yeah, I think the... Uh, the way the game behaves, I, I, I dare say we... Well, I, I guess we'll find out soon enough whether or not having the remnants of that uh, pie on us do in fact give off any stink despite not having the uh, stank lines pop up. Because we had this we had this discussion with the uh, the coastal fish cakes on Malopa Run. Cuz if I hit 3, it does drop it does drop the pie. So that suggests the game views it as meat despite it being encased in a delightful flour crust. So if I can drop it using the decoy key, is the game going to treat it, you know, like meat or guts and give off stink? As I say, we're we're about to go through uh, what is usually a kind of a a gauntlet of the local wolf population here on our way to the dam, so we'll we'll find out soon enough. Now, I, uh, one of the things I am doing with this run, I, I, I'm trying to, uh, you know, we're not just finding all the recipes, but we're trying to make them, you know, within, you know, fairly soon after we find them, just, you know, for no other reason, just to make sure we, we tick them off the list so I don't forget. So we could, you know, we could, I could have grabbed the flour and the oil and the salt and the whatnot. But my thinking is, you know, we're, we're going to Pleasant Valley. And, you know, between, you know, between the farmhouse and the bingo hall and the other houses at Thompson's, maybe even Signal Hill. Yeah, we, we should probably loot Signal Hill, too. There might be new stuff there. Okay, yeah, we have confirmation. I, I just dropped the pie and they lost interest. So yes, uh, even baked goods will give off a stink if you let it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's going to be you know uh, cooking materials where we're going. Although, although, I mean we have the carrying capacity, we we might as well. Uh, actually, yeah, okay, fine, fine. I 
I guess we'll we'll go back this way, and then we'll we'll try we'll draw those wolves with us. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What could go wrong? Although apparently it just decided to give up. Nope. Okay, I guess I guess we're far enough away to where they're just they're not interested anymore. All right. Good to know. But yeah, we'll head back. I guess we'll yeah we'll grab the basics. I guess yeah we should grab the carrots too. I think. Well, or should we? Because oh, uh, we know there are you know those little uh, those blue vegetable kind of I guess filing cabinets for, for for lack of a better word. Um, we know uh, they, they're, yeah, there's one in the farmhouse basement. I see that there should be at least one somewhere else. I think. But yeah, we know those are out there in the world, so there should be... Oh yeah, and there's also... Or you know, there should also be a, uh, a potato sack in the uh, farmhouse basement. But at the same time, they have been sitting there for a while, so... They, I mean, for all for all I know, their condition has deteriorate, deteriorated, and they they have uh, they have despawned, they have evaporated. So if you want to make what we need to make, maybe we should bring uh, a little something something. Because what do we need? What, uh, what do we need to do in Pleasant Valley? Well, the, the basics we need to get the recipe, which is in Thompson's Crossing, probably at the Bingo Hall. We need to be, we need to get the basics to make it. Yeah, we need to loot. Yeah, we need to loot the Thompsons and the farmhouse and probably Signal Hill. We. Oh, right, and we also need to find the prepper cache and check that. Because it, it's basically, at this point, it's a 50-50, whether it's going to have a bunch of loot or not. And it's going to three have a 3 and 4 chance whether it's going to have something at all. Mm, excuse me. Um, broth? Sure. Salt, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll take them all. That's fine. Uh, we do want to. We are going to want flour. And do we need oats? I don't think we need oats. Uh, let's see, oil. Yeah. Where does that put us? Actually, wait. Why is we're still fine? Look at that, like, look at that, like, 0 0.06 of that pie still had more than 400 calories. See, so yeah, that is a, it, it's basically, it, it is, it's basically a meat lover's pizza in pie form. Hey, Dot, good to see you. How you doing? How goes the weekend? Oh, yes, and how did you like Dwarf Fortress? I, uh, that is a game, I think I've, o I've seen, I've only seen Salford Sal play it, and it, it looks, uh, it looks quite intimidating. See, how did you find it? Also, let me give Dawn a good and proper welcome. As long as she's got some sort of gag in her mouth. The minute the gag comes out, I come out. <laughs> oh, a nice short clip there. Good to see you, Don. And yeah, absolutely. not Definitely not long now. 
uh, got to work tomorrow, and then I have all day Tuesday and most of the day uh, Wednesday to prepare. Oh, referring to Tris and Witcher. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, um, I think I had like, like, I had like, like the, obviously I had like the basics squared away. Um, yeah, we know when the flight's going. Um, and it's a convenient enough time to where I can just hop on, I can hop on the train and just get out to the airport that way. Don't need to spend on a taxi. That's, that's very helpful. Got we it got the uh, we had the, finally got the schedule for the conference, which was like it was like released yesterday or the day before, which was honestly like very close to the event itself, which is uh, kind of surprising. But yeah, it's fine. And yeah, I think it seems as the last time I went, there is uh, there's a lot of overlap. Like a lot like there are there's like panels and workshops and whatnot. And a good chunk of them are are taking place, you know, at the same time as each other. So it's 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 it's, it's a thing. It's a it's a condition that is so familiar amongst people who go to the conference. It's become something of a meme, but it's fine. And the nice thing is, like they they will get like they they, they do get recorded on video, so we can at least watch the vod after the fact. Uh, Dwarf Fortress is good. Now that you understand the basic mechanics, you might just go watch a playthrough just, just to see what progression happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if Sal has any of her Dwarf... I think, yeah, Sal does a lot of Dwarf Fortress, I think. Or, or at least she did a while ago. But then, like, yeah, Sal is the kind of the kind of gamer who makes horribly complex games like that just look stupidly easy. But no, it's good. Um, I I do need like like I said, I do need to get some more specifics on what to do in Scotland. Um, you know, I got like the like, you know Edinburgh's got you know just a uh, just you know it's all the you know the castles and the museums and the whatnot. And I am the kind of nerd who goes to castles and museums and whatnot. I said, oh right. Um, have you heard anything more from Fused? Apart, like what, uh, what if anything they have in mind, or or if Fused is, is any more knowledgeable about Glasgow than I am, which wouldn't be hard. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, it, oh, it's not even noon. Yeah, we're making good time. Fused is happy to do whatever. With, okay. Uh, okay. I see how this is going. All right. So, I, I'm going to have to be the American here and, it, and actually just say, let's do this. Weather dependent, too. Yeah, that's fair. You want to get food? At least? Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely be down for that. Um, so, uh, what, r remind me, was it like an, an after, like an afternoon kind of thing? You were thinking would be good. And give you a little tour of the city center. That sounds great. Um, okay, just put that away real quick. Yeah, that that moose meat is still sitting there. That's, 
<laughs> it's been out there for a while. Pushing a year. And you know what? It's still edible. Oh yeah, there there's our there's some more of our corn. Oh, Fuse is staying up by you all weekend, so time making me whatever. Okay, okay. Lunch for food. Yeah, I like I like that plan. Yeah. Um Yeah, what what do you think? Uh any preferences on type of food? Can I say like not anything like not Chinese? Because that's uh, that's that's co pretty common what we get out here. Um, <laughs> I know, weird, getting Chinese food in China. What a thought. Um, yeah, I have like I have like no you know no uh, no food allergies or, or or dietary restrictions stuff like that. Um, You know, I say like, do you uh, would would it be, would you want to do like the like the city center then eat or eat then city center? Because I think if I remember your your message, you said you know we could just you know meet at the train station. Just to to simplify. Uh, you know, getting everyone together in the same place. Because if 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 we do, I don't. Know, what, what would you think? Like so, like if, so. If I get in there on the train from Edinburgh, you know, we meet at the train station. Say, do this. Do like the the city center tour. Work up an appetite, then have lunch. That sound workable to you? Everything in the city center, food, train station. All central compared to Edinburgh. Okay, good, good, good. We can wander on that good foot. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like that plan. Let's do that. Well, I, well let me ask you, Daunt. Are, are there places in the city center that you like to go? That you uh, places whose food you would vouch for? Okay, we got. Do we? Do you want to make a fresh bow? We could make a fresh bow. We just need the one gut and then the two. Oh, we need two cured guts. And we got... Or we could take the 67% survival bow and just save us, save ourselves the trouble. Because I'm almost certain we have... Uh... Well, let's check our journal. I'm almost certain we have saplings waiting in PB. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we got we got birch, more birch. We got a maple in the uh, PH basement. That, yo, that, that's probably the uh, the farmhouse basement. Good place to sure. Okay, yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, so I, I like the schedule. You know, we'll, we'll meet up. We'll do the tour. Then, then we'll then we'll eat. Um, and as far as like where to eat, I'll trust your judgment. You know, if, if it could be a chippy, it could be you know if there's some other some place that is a good representative of Glaswegian cuisine, I am a uh, I am open to it. Okay, we'll bring those with. That's all fine. Yeah, we have we have three feathers and we have one arrowhead. We have one arrowhead, right? Okay, leave that. Yeah, one arrowhead. Yeah, so one arrowhead, so three feathers would be fine. Uh, do, 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 do. I think we're okay there. Definitely don't need the rifle. Um, honestly, we could we could use some more coffee. I think I will take some more coffee. As I'll find, actually, I think I will. 
No, let's 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 leave a stim behind in Pleasant Valley, just just for safety's sake. You know, be, you know, uh, you know, Pleasant Valley being what it is and where it is. Now we'll take a fire starting book. There we go. Okay. Uh, do you have any want to see the Scottish countryside at all? Or you're not fussed, because you could drive you north if you wanted to see some mountains. I do like me some mountains. Well, but, but is that, you know, is that going to, you know, put you out at all, Dawn? I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, monopolize your day, because you, you got, like, you got a family and shit. Yeah, you got, you got Mini Dawn, you got the dog. Well, yeah, well, yeah, multiple dogs. But one, one, one dog in particular is on your mind at the moment. I'm sure. I, I don't want. I, I do not wish to impinge upon your hospitality. You are. You can take a day off to do stuff. Okay. Well, why? Well, I guess. Um. We should probably ask Fused if he's up for it. Oh, come on, oh, come on, Astrid, come on, Astrid, Astrid, don't do this. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, if if I was say if if Fused is okay with uh, going out to the countryside, I am all for it. Because I am, I am at my core a country boy, and as as I say, the I am a big fan of the, uh, I I I love me some mountains. You still do what he's told. <laughs> no dear. Oh, hang on. Okay. Get that just in case. Wow. We weren't out here 30 seconds and already there's a bun bun getting snacked on. Okay, you'll talk over it with Fuse and sort of a solid plan. Nice. Now I, I'm just curious, like how? So if you want to go out, out to, how far north of Glasgow does one need to go before you're uh, able to see the mountains? We may have husband tagging along if we plan on the mountains. That's fine. I am definitely cool with that. Not far. Okay. Nice. Okay. See far. Okay. Yeah, that, that goat was way easier than I remembered. There. This way we can just slip past the, uh, the slip past the scene of the crime there and just let that doggo enjoy his bun bun in peace. Is, uh, is the husband a, uh, a, a, a mountaineering or a hiking fan? I mean, someone of the, someone of the family must be, because I know I know you've all been you, you've uh, you've gone hiking as a group previously. You'll see what's feasible and reasonable timing, and we'll let you know. Okay. Get my hiking since he was five. Okay. Well, let me that'll do it. And uh, I, yeah, if um. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. can we? Can I cling on to that bit there? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well done, Astrid. Using the scouts most of his childhood too. Oh, nice. I was. Uh, yeah, I was in. I was in the scouts for like three, three, four years, something like that. But then the then the. Uh, the scoutmaster and their family moved away, and then the, the group just kind of dissolved from there. But I, I still, I still, I still remember some of what I learned. I don't know if any of it's useful, but I remember it. Outdoors in general, and he is there. Nice. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, it's not it's not a it's not a long trip from Edinburgh to Glasgow. If I if I take you know take off in the morning, get there, meet up, do the uh, do the city center tour. If it, especially if it says as compact as you say it is, um, that probably shouldn't take very long at all. I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, and then head out, and then, yeah, do the thing. Yeah, do the uh, meetup, tour, lunch, mountains. And, you know, see see what the time is like from there. And it, it won't. And then definitely you know, hop the hop the train back. Because, uh, yeah, because I need to check out. Yeah, check out from the uh, hotel noon yet yeah, noon something like that yet yeah, noon the following day so easy peasy okay, I guess I guess they will actually use these try to get away with you know wandering through here but no this isn't the transition cave that you can walk through just through just with natural light uh if i back from edinburgh. uh kind of well yeah yeah i i start in edinburgh but um well it's gonna take me edinburgh to heathrow heathrow to helsinki helsinki to hong kong because of that i figured that would be preferable than like taking a train from edinburgh back to manchester because then that, uh, and then going, you know, Manchester, Helsinki, Hong Kong. Now, if if I had, uh, if I had, if I'd gone with Cutter Airways instead, they actually fly direct to Edinburgh and Manchester, so I could have just done that. But you know, they were, you know, they're they're a little bit more expensive. Than Finnair, so I, I went. I went with their, uh, went with the Scandies instead, and we'll see. I don't know. You know, I've flown Cutter a few times, and I've never had any complaints. But you know, as I'm, I I want to be I want to be open to new experiences. So we're we're seeing if the uh, seeing if going with the Finns will do better. Okay, we, actually, it occurs to me, while we're in this part of town, what if we actually hit Signal Hill first? Then we go to the farmhouse. Then we go to Thompson's. And then we make our way around. And then we start looking for the, uh, for the prepper cache. I think I like that plan. But yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing, Don? You doing okay? Oh yeah. How did the uh, how did the uh, the the meeting with the uh, the complaint filer go? Yeah, or, or the or the call, I guess. If you did in fact have to deal with that. Also, wow, did that fog set in quickly. So connections are good to break up the journey. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, because like, you know, like it's it's a it's a it's a lengthy flight. You know, getting getting there from here. So <laughs> even if just a chance, like get out and stretch her legs for a little bit without like having to navigate around other people doing the same thing in a you know a small metal tube hurtling through the air. Uh, he was totally fine with you. Okay. Well, that that's great. Um, yeah, it sounded like he was really steamed with someone, but I guess if that's going to be the case, you know, better that it's not you. 
Oh, okay. Can I take some feathers off you there, bud? Yeah, got got any of them crow feathers? Apparently not. Well, heck, you two. Okay, so I think we yeah well, uh, yeah this, this is this is this the slope going up this way is far more gentle, almost suspiciously so. And since we can't see for crap, we gotta keep an ear out for. Not just for wolfies, like the one over there, but also any neighborhood bears. <laughs> We've already... Okay, I know. That's bear breathing. We're not going over there. Yeah, I'm hearing bear crows out of, out of my left ear. So, what do you say we don't do that? Anyway, uh, you found out the original person who took his call gave you inaccurate information, which is less, less than helpful, sure. You found out while speaking to him. Luckily, you're very helpful, and he didn't blame you. You can tell he was pissed, though. Okay, well, I guess all's well that ends well? Question mark? So is there a, is that a Carl Bob? Mm, yes, that is a Carl Bob. And this one's got feathers. Nice. And it is a Carl Bob we checked. Okay, so I guess you know, given how given how things could could have gone, I guess that's probably probably one of the better outcomes. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. There's. Okay, yeah, there's our hunt. There's a the hunter blind. Okay, so we know where we are. We know where we need to go. You're being healed? Okay. No worries. Okay, so the hunter blind is there. And the road to Signal Hill should be. Around here. Aha. Excellent. And if the and if the uh, if the hunter blind is at our back, if the hunter blind is on that side of the road, that means if we go this way, we should get to Signal Hill. Now, if we hit a if we like if we hit a wood bridge, then we're going the wrong way, and I have just forgotten everything there is to know about navigating Pleasant Valley. And isn't that an exciting prospect? Okay, I, I hear the bear crows again. And again, they're off to the left. And there's some fresh bear prints. Fuck it, fuck, no. What, I, I can't even see the, whatever, where the thing is. Also, what? Where the hell is this thing? 
I hear it. I'll be damned if I can see it. Okay, well. Astrid, you need a big help. You can get yourself up on this ridge. Yes, Bear Crows, I still hear you. Mashing the R button. Make sure we're make sure it's loaded. God, I cannot. Okay, so if I heard the breathing at the first time, where I think I did, and then we had that little encounter there, that suggests that the bear is making its way to Signal Hill, so it would behoove us to get there first. And oh, now the fog starts to clear. Thank you, game. You are a big, healthy helper, sir. <sighs> well, I'm, I'm just going to keep this thing out, because you know, even if we just pop in real quick, see if there's any new loot, which there all probably isn't. By the time we pop out, old bear friend there could be right the heck on top of us. No. Alright. No. Oh, there's some, some well hidden peanut butter there. Definitely take that. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll just. Give it a good once over, just in case I've overlooked anything. It did not appear to be so. Okay. And we'll get out the uh, get out the old flare gun. Crouch down so we don't announce ourselves the second we step outside. Okay, there we go. It's gonna give us a little better vision before we commit to any uh, commit to a path out of here. Okay, don't hear, don't hear the bear crows. Oh, there are the bear crows. Hang on, real quick. I'm going to switch to our Krampins. Because we're going to be going down some steep slopes. See if that helps avert some sprains. Because those are always fairly annoying. But yeah, we'll definitely we'll de we'll keep the flare gun out. Because even, even if we dodge that bear, I think there's another... There's at least one other potential bear. in the neighborhood. There's, and there's some more snow chickenses right up there. So again, I am, uh, I am again vindicated in my, my constant hearing of ptarmigans. And I have not, I am not, I'm not hearing phantom snow chickens. 
Okay. We could have climbed that. We, we are underweight, but... Asher's also at less than half energy, so... Even with the Krampens... And the fact that climbing down rather than up, that could uh, that could go poorly. So let's not tempt fate. Instead, let's just get we'll get her across the road, into the farmhouse, and then fingers crossed there will be a wealth of cooking items. We can uh, cook up a, a nice little storm there. Although we'll probably... I th Did we leave... I'm, I'm almost certain we left food there. Or if not, we, we, got, we got our crackers. We got our... Uh, we got our cattails. I'm just reminded, um, yeah, because we haven't actually, yeah, I, as I mentioned earlier, we haven't looted this place since the f the food update drop. I think it also, I don't know, did we, have we looted it since the reshuffle? Well, I'll tell you what we can do. Uh, we can go in the little mini barn here and check the upstairs. Just on the off chance there's, I don't know, a rabbit skin hat just sitting up there. Now, someone, I forget who, I think someone said there's a way across that you don't have to crouch and go all the way. Can we? No, it can't go that way. Can you get across that? No. Okay, maybe there. I thought, you know, I thought someone said there was a way to, you know, to go across here without having to, you know, crouch and, you know, do this whole circuit. But maybe I misheard, because if, if there is, I don't see it. Okay, yeah, we have checked that, and we'll have checked that. Okay. Well, that was, it was worth a shot. It, ha it has been quite some time since we come here. Okay. Also, be, be smart. Crash down. Check the surroundings. So we we do know that the bear can can and does wander this way. Okay, I count one, two. Three, four jerk faces on the opposite side. Pretty typical around here, actually. And it does appear as though the pleasant, ve pleasant valley weather is starting to get ahem, pleasant. So this would be an opportune time to take ourselves to the indoors. Have I checked here? I've, I've almost certainly checked here. But let me check again real quick. Okay, well that was easy. Okay, um, 
did I leave anything in here? I, I did leave anything in here. I left a lot of things in here. Like that, which bears a striking resemblance to dinner. Mmm, green bear meat. Okay. So let's have a look around. Ooh, we got... We are blessed with carrots already. And flour. And oil. And potat. Ruined potat, but still potat. Okay, we, we left ourselves some water. Good. Bunch of tea. Okay, yeah, we are almost certainly here while we we're uh, grinding to writing some cooking skill. Hey, hey, I see the old potato sack. Oh, there's some oats there too. Lovely. Okay, two potatoes. Not much, but it's more than we had previously. And yeah, we got a patch of hides and guts and we do have a maple sapling in there if we want to make ourselves a fresh bow got more oil we'll probably just relocate that upstairs okay okay not bad Ah, right. There's the. Uh, that does seem to be a fairly regular spawn spot for the uh, for the pry bar. Yeah, I think I found that all that all like every of the every one of the breakfast express runs we did save one. Okay. Um. Let me. Let's see, we'll drop those. Hang on, let's get... Uh, here, we'll, we'll use the rug as our staging area. Drop those. And those. And those. Okay, nice. Grab that real quick. Big old drink. I guess let me let, let's check outdoors real quick before we head out. See just how pleasant Pleasant Valley is being. Um, actually comparatively pleasant. I mean, by Pleasant Valley standards, of course. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see, we have our corn on us, we have broth, we got the oats we picked up downstairs. We have 26 cooking oil. Probably don't need 26 cooking oil, I'm going to say. Okay, well, what I'm thinking is, you know, we, we, um, in the absence of reasons not to, maybe we just push on to Thompson's. Because I, I think it's probably a good bet that the, uh, uh, the barn is it going to have anything new for us? I'll tell you, until we know exactly how many of these we need, we might as well grab them. Okay, do we have we have all the things? Yeah, we got potatoes, we got carrots, we got broth, we got oats, we got flour, got corn. 
and we got oil and we got salt okay that should that should Astrid cover whatever we need in terms of uh, in terms of cooking supplies so Yeah, I don't. Yeah, a torch isn't staying lit in this weather. So, let's see. If, uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, okay. It's probably going to get dark as we go, but I think if we stick to the road, we get that little extra speed boost. We can probably get to Thompson's in good time. Check the houses there. Check the store can't forget the store and then we'll head to the bingo hall and see if we can't find that dang recipe well I guess the, the wind has calmed down considerably so let me let's let's actually make that switch Because I, I have to keep thinking ahead. You know, I, I, you know, as... I have to remember, we do still have a trip to Blackrock ahead of us. And Blackrock means Timbies. And the best way to deal with Timbies... Well, the other, well, I take that back. The best way to deal with them is to not be near them in the first place. But if you can't manage that, the second best way of dealing with them is the revolver because it, it fire it it fires quickly and you know quick enough to wear like because they the, the, the timberwolves have this nasty little ability to like when you like level the bow or the rifle at them you know they they, they juke and they, they they jet off at some angle and they they make it really hard to hit them i guess the uh, the revolver fires quick enough to where that's less of an issue I'll, yeah, or I guess you, you, depending on the conditions and like how much fire would you have on you, you could also do the uh, do the sensible thing of just like dropping a uh, dropping a campfire and then chucking torches at them until that breaks their morale. Now that'll, it'll take longer, but it'll also you know consume like firewood is easier to come by than say revolver rounds. But yeah, we we have uh yeah, we have three zones to go through before we have to contemplate that. But I think I, I would ideally I we would go in there with high condition, clothing and good repair, and with a significant amount of revolver ammo as well as like arrows and flare shells although flare shells against timbies would be a little much but uh, as we know there are also bear out there and one is so locally famous actually it, it just has its own location and the moose let's not forget you know, the moose does like to park itself by bricklayers, and I guess if, if you get a moose by bricklayers, and you can bring it down, it's it's a lot like having the moose outside of uh, outside of the hunting lodge in Broken Railroad. You get a nice, convenient location, you can cook it up, although, you know, it, it, there, there are some drawbacks, too. 
like that you don't have the uh, that magnificent six burner stove that you do in the hunting lodge and you are in a zone with timber wolves unlike broken railroad but then you also don't have to deal with having wolves at your almost literally at your door at bricklayers so you know swings and roundabouts It does tend to do that, Astrid. You know, when that, that big shiny ball in the sky goes to hide over the horizon, night does tend to follow. Um, yeah, we're going to go loot up Thompson. How, how do we want to get to the, uh, how do we want to get to the uh, prepper cache from Thompson's? Well, you know, we could take the, the direct route, or the, the, uh, the, you know, the simplest route would be, you know, follow, you know, follow this road up and around, but that would also involve going past a, a, a well-known bear spawn location. Not my idea of a good time, if I'm honest. Uh, we could also head out the back. Yeah, we, hey, we, we could do my, uh, my Breakfast Express route in reverse so just go out the back get on the river follow that up uh, until basically until it starts to turn left and then we go then we go up um, head up by those rocks making sure to avoid the aforementioned bear and then follow the road I think past point of disagreement past the uh, hunter blind and it's somewhere in the vicinity of the plane crash I guess alternatively yeah, sorry, just, yeah there's the bingo hall yeah otherwise we just we just head straight that way cross the river and we you take the uh, take that natural land bridge up to Skeeter's Ridge, and then we just go that way. That would, that would actually probably be the most direct way. Maybe that's, maybe that'd be best. Okay, yeah, we're, and we're here basically looking for the new cooking stuffs. I don't anticipate anything else new is going to spawn in. Okay, yep, there we go. We got some flour back there. We, we can Whatever we find here, we can just dump off at the community center. Okay, another potat. Been there for quite some time. More oats. Uh, stump remover can stay. Not really in need of that. Uh, spray paint, definitely not in need of that. Close that. Rude. There, okay, yeah, there, there is a little vegetable drawer as I was thinking of. Okay, well, we did definitely did not have to bring all of our carrots from Mystery Lake. Well, wow. one one whole potato. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, well that's off to a good start. Yeah, they, yeah. We'll hit the uh, we'll hit the houses in town, and then, then we'll we'll finish up at the bingo hall. Where, if I'm not mistaken, that is where the uh, the recipe we're after will spawn. Okay, hey, more potat. Oh, and more broth. Potat, salt. Okay, yeah, we could have we have, we could have quite the setup at the old bingo hall. Okay, that is just fine. I can't remember. Was the was the next house up, or did it get? Oh, jeez. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think yeah, the house is up. That's good. Um, can take us a fair bit to get there. Just walking. I the combination of being this tired and walking into this wind. There we go. Yeah, well, once we get out of the wind, it's nowhere near as bad. Oh, there's a little hatchet there. Nice. Okay. Now we'll just check the kitchen real quick. There's a skillet. We can probably dump that off there. Nothing on top of the fridge. Doesn't appear as such. Got, oh, wow. There's a energy bar I just straight up missed. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, do we check the place across the street? I guess if, we, if we can call it a street. We might as well. Yeah, probably almost certainly nothing in the church. Okay. Yep. Pretty much nothing. As expected. Okay, so yeah, we'll head into the uh, community center, and then we'll head straight to the kitchen, where we'll be, we'll be dumping off quite a bit of stuff. Although, no, we, we, we need to check the office first. I think that that's also a potential spawn point. Okay, yeah, just check for the recipe card. Seeing none, we continue. Yeah, we did leave ourselves some stuff here. Lovely. But oh hey, we got water. Oh, there's some there's some broth sitting right there. And salt too. Another carrot, lovely. But we need that recipe card if we're gonna 
get done what we need to get done. So wherever might that be? Well, it is quite late. I am too tired to think straight. I was getting there, Astrid. If you just if you let me finish. Hey, there it is. Thompson Family Stew, a light but satisfying stew made with vegetables, fresh from the gardens of Pleasant Valley. I am not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Okay, we'll turn that off real quick while we can peruse our new recipe. Oh, this is a pot recipe. Lovely. We need canned corn, carrots, got plenty of those, potatoes, two reishi mushrooms. Oh! I think that's the first recipe we found for some of that. And broth and flour. Um, so what, it, what does that do? It gives us extra max stamina. Gives rest. I guess more restful sleep. But all it, but extra fatigue. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's pop over here. Honestly, I'm just going to see. We'll dump. We'll dump our potatoes there. Take a step back. Drop our carrot collection. Okay, drop all the oil all the oil all the flour the oats and the corn and the broth okay so so if we're going to make that we need to go on a quick little quest to find ourselves some reishi mushrooms. Doesn't seem like it should be hard, but I don't, I don't know how how much I have uh, picked over the local neighborhood. It sounds like Pleasant Valley is turning even more pleasant than usual. Okay. Yep, that that is a that's a blizzard, by God. I know that sound anywhere, especially here. Okay, well, Astrid, I think Astrid has definitely earned her rest tonight. I guess we'll just let Pleasant Valley do its thing overnight, and then come the morrow, we will go on our search for some lovely shroomies. Okay, got that done. Could give Astrid, you know, a few, few more hours. You know, make sure it's nice and bright out there. And just uh, maybe just that little bit warmer. There we go. I probably did grab this, but we'll check. Yep, okay. Okay, where where do we want to go looking for mushrooms? Well, we just we can just start right across the road. I'll take it. Okay, that is well, that's acceptable.
Oh, and are there... Does it look like there's any any shroomy stumps about? Although if we if we go looking across, especially if we go across the river and we check there, we'll probably have better luck. Is is it? Oh yeah, definitely calm enough. We can just go bust out a torch. Is that, yeah, that is that is some more burdock we got sitting right there. Well, we'll leave that be for now. I don't think we don't think we have any pressing need for that. Okay, so let's go up in the hills and see if we can find some of those shroomy stumps. Nope, nope, just grab the stick, please. Thank you. Now, yeah, memory serves. If you go up and around, and then you hang a right up, at the, you know, once you crest this ridge, you know, there, there's that area that has like it's got a, you know, there's a waterfall back there, and I think at least one cave, and a, uh, a variety of saplings, at least potentially. Yeah, I, I'm hoping it's not too much of a labor-intensive process to actually find ourselves some shrooms. You wouldn't think so, but then again... How often are they really around when you need them? Okay, I, I see. I think I see at least one. Kind of figure that happened. And that, friends, is a two for one. We'll get back to them shortly. Yeah, ooh, ooh, wow. That's a big that's a big old family of mushrooms. Excellent, excellent. That's like that's three servings worth of mushrooms. You love to see that. Although, actually, hang on. Yeah, th three servings worth would take twelve carrots. I don't, I don't, th I don't think we want to use all the all the carrots in our collection. Have a few more sticks here, and we'll uh, we can deal with uh, what's the the aftermath of that little that tragic little uh, incident. That was definitely not my fault. No matter what the video tells you. Yeah, probably far too foggy. For a mag lens. Wait, do we even have a mag lens? We do. Oh, we do! 
Oh, that's right. It's our Loper run where we don't have a mag lens. Whoever put mushrooms in stew. <laughs> well, mighty, I, I, I can understand that. Yeah, it's not, uh, not, not the kind of ingredient you would necessarily expect, is it? And anyway, we're gonna do this just, just in case. You know, if for no other reason than to, you know, fend off anyone else who might want to. You know, anyone else might want to come by and, you know, help themselves to the, the fruits of Aster's labor. It's like the people who put mushrooms in their spaghetti sauce. Are you, you not a fan of that, Mighty High? I said, it doesn't sound like that. Now, now, is is it is it strictly just that, or is it like, is it like mushrooms in general, that uh, that don't do it for you? Also, yeah, we we still have that skillet. Oh, just that you like mushrooms? Oh, okay. So it's just it's just not a good combination for you. I can see that. Yeah, I, I am, I guess I'm, I'm kind of neutral when, when it comes to, you know, mushrooms and spaghetti sauce. It, it can't, it, it can't, like, the, the texture can kind of throw things off. I, I, I can definitely understand that, but I guess I don't have any strongly held feelings about it. This will come in handy. Mushroom just oh wrong on wrong on every level for you will wow that is a, that's a that's a big shout also hey will good to see you Oh, the weekend is treating you well. Uh, they're good fried. I, I don't know that I had fried mushrooms. It's a texture thing for you. Can't stand it, and then we'll make you wretch. Okay, yeah, that, that I can definitely understand. I think, I kind of had similar issues. with mushrooms a while ago. I think, I'm not sure what changed. Over the years, I think I, I was, I got less opposed to them. But I definitely understand like the, uh, yeah, the, definitely the texture, the kind of, it, they, they can't, especially if, like, if you, they need a little, a little rubbery, if, if they're not prepared well. But yeah, like mushroom broth is really good. And I have I've had like a like there's there's this brand called corn Q U O R N and they they they're like one of those like a uh, synthetic meats and they make they make micro micro protein to where it's it's all uh, the protein is derived from mushrooms and it's pretty tasty. But yeah, if if it's if it's not your thing. I can definitely see how it wouldn't be for you. How long is that going to take? 28, 21, how long do you have? 25, 43, okay. They're good with black pudding. Okay, I'll have to take your word for that. I don't, I don't know that I have had black pudding. Okay, we'll grab those. Take a couple torches. 
Uh, you better than Scala. Well, I think yeah. Um, we have some pork belly. Okay, that, that's a that's a specific call, but I, I I am definitely open to it. Did I get all? Okay, nothing to harvest. I was gonna say, did we get everything off of that? We sure did. Oh yeah, what was it? Um, I guess I mean, I, I, hey, I'm open to it. Honestly, I'm probably more open to haggis than, than I am to, say, the, the uh, deep-fried Mars bar. Uh, see, what is it? Uh, Daunt mentioned a, a particular brand. Uh, is it uh, Storm, Storm Away? I think she said that 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 is the kind of black pudding to get. Yeah, we'll be seeing that one again. Because like most wolves, it's running directly in the direction we wish to travel. See? But if we can get some distance, we can probably just ignore this one. But yeah, like yeah, like, you know, black, black pudding, haggis. I am, uh, yeah, I, I'm open to whatever, you know, fish, you know, fish and chips, salt and vinegar, salt and sauce. I am, uh, I am a culinary free agent here. Liver and liver and bacon, deep fried. Now, are are you are you unfamiliar with that, Will, or are you saying if I'm open to that? Because yeah, apparently like the the uh, the deep fried Mars bar is a thing in Scotland. Pop in here real quick and get that jerk off of our tail. And let's see, we we'll just come right here to the middle of the floor. Drop those guts. One, two, three. Drop the rabbit. Drop the wolf. And then we'll make a note of that. Uh, shoo, shoo, shoo. Okay. Oh, here we go. Nope, nope, nope. All the way to the top. One rabbit, one wolf, three guts, cooking mats. Get a deep fried Mars bar from all the chippies. Hmm. Well, okay, I mean, I can definitely see that. And you, I think that the novelty might be there for one try, but I think part, part of what gives me pause, you know, is the fact that you know, it's a, it is a it is a tourist thing. Yeah, he was about to pop over the ridge and come have it come have a have a sniff at us. But now he's just walking away because we're not holding anything as stinky anymore. Which is why we went out and crouched. Oh uh, yeah, 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 but yeah, I'm. Mean, I, from what I read about the deep fried Mars bar, it is uh, as it, 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 it's like the, like the stereotypical tourist thing to do. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's just like it, it is. It's the expected thing. You know, it, it's like going to the Leaning Tower of Pisa and then taking a photo of you appearing to hold up the tower. You know, it, it's just it's basic. Now again, basic, not necessarily bad, but I mean, it's, it's, it's 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 just it's my little spiteful streak that comes out. And it's like, do, yeah, I don't, 
is that anything we really want to do, though? But, honestly, I'll, I'll just... What'll probably happen is Dawn will peer pressure me and not wanting to be the ugly American, I'll give in and I'll have myself a deep fried Mars bar. And then Dawn will never let me hear the end of it. Yeah, you get a full English too. Have I had a full English? I I can't remember. Cause I, I I I've been to England before. Last time I last time I went to Manchester for the same conference, I I actually went I flew into London. And then, for like a week, a little little bit more than a week, and then went up to Manchester for the conference, then flew home. You have to get the full English, and then and then you want another fried Mars bar. <laughs> chasing chasing uh, well a full English is breakfast, right? That's that that's my recollection. Also, hang on, I'm just gonna grab that, put that there. Oh, you're in the southwest. You get good ice cream. Oh, good ice cream. What uh, what kind of ice cream? You know, is it uh, if if it's distributed throughout England, should I, should I keep an eye out for it while I'm in Manchester? Is I will. Uh, Devonshire. Is it the kind of ice cream? Let me write that down. Devon sure ice cream. Okay. Uh, is is it? Oh, it'll say on the package. Okay. Any uh, any particular flavor as you keep an eye out for? Like any any black pudding flavored ice cream? No, I kid, of course. <laughs> Good scoons. You lived in Devon for three years. Oh, neat. And you like, okay, cool. Yeah, I am. I am a. Is I'm very much a free agent when it comes to ice cream flavors. I'll, I, I'll try just about anything. I do like a good salted caramel, but I am yeah, I am open to the gamut. Oh, it's more because of the cream is is made from that makes it super soft and creamy. Ooh, ooh, interesting. And your dad is from Torquay, in De the the English Riviera. Yes, uh, ostensibly the site of Falsy Towers. I remember that much. Okay. Uh, nope, nope, not that. That's what we want. Okay. Pot recipes. So we need corn, four carrots, two potat, two broth, and flour. One, two potat. Two, three, four. Grab a thing of flour. Grab a thing of broth. And where, where did our where did our corn go? Our corn is somewhere under here. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Right? There it is. You may not be from there, T. <laughs> but okay. Well, yeah. Don't 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 dox yourselves on on my don't dox yourself on my account, mighty high. You know, the, you know, keep keep the mystery up. But no, I I appreciate the local knowledge because I, I don't. Last thing I want to do is be going to you know going to Scotland, spending a week there, and then eating at McDonald's. You know, I, I want if I'm going to do that, I, I at least want to eat at the Scottish equivalent of McDonald's. Okay, and we'll use a torch. Yeah, go ahead and use the book. There's no, there's no real difference. Come on, little fire. There we go. And make sure we get, yeah, sorry, all stick collection going there. There we are. Okay. Yes, you water. You water. You water. water later water and then you get to make us some 
Thompson Family Stew. Takes an hour 18 to cook. Wow. That better be a heckin' good stew. Okay, grab that. Grab that. We got yeah we we've we've, in, we've invested in the fire we might as well. Got an hour and so wow an hour. Uh, you you lived in Exmouth for three years working at Devon Cliffs Holiday Park. Oh, that's, what, yeah, that's not working at Holiday Park. That sounds fun. As a short student, normally it's all day. Well, I mean I don't. What is it's like yeah like two potatoes two mushrooms. A little broth, four carrots. I can't. Like, you know, you have to open the can of corn and pour it in. You know, a little little flour to thicken it. I don't think it's like it's not rocket surgery. Okay. Oh wow. We just got a got a whole thing of broth there. Okay. Going. Going. Grab that. Grab that. Got just shy of two hours. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, you drank more. Okay. Fun. Need to walk to the dumpers and go to the. Oh, yeah, walk the dump. Go to the puppers. You got wrecked when you were last there too. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for being here. Uh, you know, th thanks for this uh, swinging by. Will have a great rest of your day. And, you know, thank you for the sharing. You know, you and Mighty High. And Dawn, you have returned from the supermarket, and you have wine gums. You are not sharing though. Okay, well, I guess I'll, I'll forgive you this time. Yeah, we are we are currently waiting on our Thompson family stew to finish, so we don't want to spoil dinner by having wine gums now. Oh yeah, Daunt, since you're back, um, you mentioned something, um, I was wondering, um, was, what'd you call them, like, was it like sour gummies? Sour jellies? Something like that? I, I'm not sure I've ever heard of those. What are those? Okay, we got entirely too much water, but that's fine. You know, we're just we're just making some water for future Astrid. Should she ever return? Did I? Yeah, yeah, I I, I forget exactly where, but you think I think you mentioned, yeah, you, you mentioned them. S S sour gummy sweets, you think, mighty high? Yeah. Haribo, is it Tang Tang Fastics? Is it is it Tang Fastics? Is it supposed to be like fantastically tangy? I think. Ah, okay. I I, I have successfully deciphered it. Haribo Tang Fastic. Okay. Is a, is a thing. Okay. I'm not sure I've ever seen the letters put in the uh, order to make Tang Fastic or Sour Patch. Okay, Sour Patch Kids I've heard of. Are those still a thing? Cause I, I, I remember like those being a thing quite a while ago. Oh, they are. Okay.
Well, yeah, we, 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 we've committed to this much fire. We, we, we can't douse the fire. We might, might as well use it to just make much as we can. Oh, sour, Haribo are like those, but less sour. Oh, okay. Okay, well, those are going. That's almost there. Nice. Um, oh, we got our stew is up. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. Nice and orange. Gourmet Thompson family stew. A light but satisfying stew. Yes. So, boost to our max stamina. Better rest, but more fatigue? I, I assume this is this is more food coma. Well, let's let's just just have some. No, sir, I don't like it. Uh, do, you, do I have a sweet tooth? Ah, uh, kind of, much less so than I used to. I I, I in the past I was much more. You know, uh, uh, more more so with the uh, with the sweet tooth. But yeah, I think that is uh, honestly, I think moving to this part of the world has has like uh, helped you know take the edge off of that. Probably because like the uh, you know, the, except in you know for certain, I think like, like, like there's uh, you know there's donut joints and whatnot, and and, play, and, the, and there's Starbucks. I think just you can like basically drink liquid sugar. But for the most part, desserts in this part of the world aren't they're they're less sweet. Than uh, like than their, than their part of, than their counterparts in the West, and I, I I've actually grown to quite like that. Now that's it. I I will still indulge from time to time. And I, I will uh, I will admit that uh, the uh, the fancy expat grocery store not far from where I work. Uh, they do have Reese's peanut butter cups in there uh, for <laughs> entirely too much. But yeah, they, they have like like the, the the big ones that have like the other pretzel bits or the uh, the potato chips in the middle. And I, because I am such a peanut butter fiend, I will I'll grab one or two when I go through, even though they cost like. 20 Hong Kong dollars each. Reese is not your thing, Mighty High? I mean, that, that, that's fine. As, as I say, it it's mostly me being a uh, an absolute sellout for for all things peanut butter. Oh, oh, chocolate! Chocolate is not good. Well, you, you know, actually, I'm not, I'm not entirely in disagreement with you there. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't find you know, ch chocolate the uh, the life defining pleasure that other people do. You know, for for me, it's uh, you know, it, it's like a. Uh, well, yeah, in in truth, it's a. Uh, it's a peanut butter delivery device. Uh, you like Reese's, but you don't like you don't crave them like you do for the chocolate you get here. Hmm. Well, because I like. Well, I wonder if it's like it's like just like a general thing for chocolate for me because like I've had non-American chocolate and, and it still doesn't like pop for me. It's like um. We have the uh, oh, what do you call them? The Kinder Bueno bars, uh, which some people really like. Uh, we have actually we have, we have those in our vending machine at work, um, and I tried them, and, and they're they're nice, but you know they're not they're not orgiastically good uh, for me. As a peanut butter enjoy, you like Reese's? Yeah, makes total sense. 
we what the the uh, they used to have these like the Reese's sticks, where it was just like you know like waif the, the chocolate covered wafers with peanut butter in the middle. You know, it was simple. It, it was perfect as far as I was concerned. You know, no muss, no fuss, real e real easy. Yeah, nice crunchy peanut buttery goodness. Then you know the chocolate was tolerable. I uh, need a twirl or a flake. I need a Cadbury or Galaxy chocolate. Why not? Or lint? But that's expensive. Yeah, it, it sounds like it would be expensive chocolate. Like the more the more German the name sounds, the more expensive the, the chocolate more than likely is. Uh, okay. Is that... Yeah, sun's not even down. So is there anything else we want to do? Um, yeah, tomorrow. Hey, you know, um, you know, in game tomorrow. I would like for us, you know, to start making progress toward finding the prepper cache, the other, the other big goal we have here. Lint is okay. Uh, basic Cadbury chocolate is elite. Huh. But if you're not a chocolate lover, you're probably underwhelmed. Oh, huh. okay. Well, I, I you know, like I was telling Will, I am I am open to just about anything. So, you know, if there is, you know, if, if proper British Cadbury is that superior, I guess I. I should give it a shot, and, and it's just 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 to be able to say whether or not you know it it works for me. Also, what this is weird. I, I keep seeing stones in these little groupings. Oh. Uh, Dear friend, why are you going into town? This is strange behavior by you. Not that I'm going to stop you, of course. Where are we going? We're going to get across the road? Did you look both ways? Always look both ways. I say, you really don't want to go that way. There's a wolf over there. I can attest to that. But it doesn't look like it's actually going to listen to me. Or did it... I did warn you. <sighs> you saw it. It was coming after me. I had to defend Astrid. That was an act of self-defense. Astrid was standing her ground with her bow and arrow. I mean, we might as well, right? It's getting dark out here. I'm gonna look for shelter. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and harvest this up. Gotta be careful, because we do know that the wolves in the neighborhood might be smelling whatever we have on us. Also, can we... Yeah, we can make venison pie. We have the flour, we have the oil, we, we just acquired the venison, and... Ooh! And that'll get us extra max carry weight. Nice.
Now, admittedly, carrying that around will make Astrid... She'll be definitely giving off the old the meat stink. Mm. Oh, nope. Crap, 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 crap. Aurora coming. You know what? <laughs> no, no, let's not. Wonder if I can drop any of this fear. Okay, go, go, go. Go, go, go. <sighs> okay, we, we, we've already had one close run in with Aurora Wolves. I'd really rather not have another. Also, hey, Bash, good to see you. Things are going okay. We have a... Uh, <laughs> uh, we are still on our quest to find all the recipes and... the uh, All the recipes and all the prepper caches. We just found and made some Thompson family stew. Also, let me... Make sure to give Melod a good and proper welcome. And let Bash's clip play as we harvest so deer have in no the Aurora. Me. No one is talking to you, Bash. This is a private conversation with Jetsuit and you. I am so sorry to interrupt. I'm just going to play my game. I am really sorry. I shouldn't have uh, read your private messages. I don't know why okay, I can do even we dare harvest the guts? Maybe you should try timing yourself out, Ash. That will allow me to not see your messages. Okay, we got away with one. There we go. Yeah, my pleasure, Bash. Okay. Guts acquired. We'll drop those off indoors. But first... There's an aurora. You know what that means? Screenshots! Ooh, got a nice big crescent moon out back, too. But how you doing, Bash? Hope your weekend's going well. Be nice if I can just you know get a shot without the wires being in the way. That'd help a lot. Ooh, we're kinda like that. Yeah, don't don't mind me. I'm just busy, you know adding to my several gigabytes worth of Aurora screenshots. I don't have a problem. I can stop whenever I want. I just choose not to. You do this on speedruns. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I am, I am definitely guilty of that too, Mighty High. I, uh, just, and the game is is just too dang pretty. It, 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 it looks too good to be ignored, to do the sensible thing, and take shelter indoors when, you know, the atmosphere decides to go all woogany. Also, holy heck, is that light loud? You good? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Just uh, having a, a last couple days before I have a you know day or two off, and then I can actually go on holiday for the first time in a while. Grab those. We're just gonna hustle back indoors. 
Uh, has anyone done a no HUD challenge? I'm almost certain someone has. Because I, I, I don't think maybe not, not even a challenge. Some people just prefer to play it that way. Okay. Uh, no, go to our notes. And then... So now we have five guts and a deer. Done. Uh, but yeah, I, I think uh, it, it, I think you know some people they uh, I think they they strike a uh, they they do a little like kind of a compromise where. They have the, what they call the contextual HUD, where it's only on. Uh, it, it's only on if something is about to run out or if it's draining quickly. So, I guess if people wanted to at least at least experience that, that would be a way to do it. No, no, just, no, no, please use. Thank you. But yeah. Oh, right. Um, what was it? Uh, Dunn. D.H. Dunn, I think, has... Well, I think he... It has... It, it wasn't necessarily a no HUD challenge so much as, like, he, uh... He intentionally, like, covered, like, the bottom of the screen. And then... Like anything that would give some clue as to like what like what was happening, like you kept, you know, so they didn't see couldn't see the meters, couldn't see like the uh, like the top middle, so you know if it was uh, shielded from the wind. So yeah, that, 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 that's basically a no HUD challenge. Okay, we and we got that, we got that, and we got that. We need oil. Pretty sure we have that. Okay, I'd like you to make a... There we go, venison pie. And then I will have you make yourself a venison pie. Yeah, we're actually going to get six of these things. Okay. No more pie? Or, yeah, no more meat on us? No more meat on us. Good. Okay. Just pop back here. Drop these back down. Yeah, you know what? We have, we have water. Actually, no, what we should do, we should make up some more coffee. And then we, 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 we've used up our supply. We, 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 we got the dry stuff, but... Especially if we're going to be walking about and uh, you know in the unfamiliar territory, because I'm not a hundred percent sure where this uh, this prepper cache is. It, it would be good to you know, have a just go out a little bit prepared. I mean, well, you know, we're we're committed to an hour. Heck it. <laughs> Make that water. Also, they just looking. The lighting is just. It's 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 quite disconcerting. I gotta say. I mean, cool, but dis disconcerting all the same. You know what that goes? Oh yeah. Um. 
Yeah, that yeah, that was the, that was the uh, the the light directly above the stove. That we haven't read, kinda yeah, but yeah, and then yeah, the uh, the aurora is the reason all that's happening. Yeah, the uh, the geomagnetic disturbance is basically bringing to life all the electronics that have been you know dead since the you know since society collapsed. There we go. And we get three basic looking, but I'm sure very tasty and very filling venison pies. That will also boost our carry weight. I'm very happy about that. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Take those. Okay, got that, got that. Those are almost there, and that'll be done. Cool. Take that water, take that water, take our skillet, leave that one. It was a good torch pull. Well done, Astro. Right. But yeah, we're just doing some prep for our exploration tomorrow. There we go. Yeah, we have we have six pies on us. Plus our leftover stew. Matter of fact, we we should have that stew now. go because it will give us improved rest not that we particularly need it but it could it couldn't hurt step out here real quick drop those you can leave them outside they'll, they'll keep their condition a little longer they will be warm obviously but um, and we, we have to drop them from the menu, because I think, if I remember correctly, if you use the three key, the uh, decoy key, there is a risk. Um, if there is a wolf nearby, they will just walk on up and grab it. And, you know, Astrid put in a lot of work into making those little pies. We, we want her to get the full benefit of those. All righty. Yeah, it's midnight. The the, uh, the the atmosphere is having a rave, as Dawn said. So we're just gonna let it do its thing, and then come the morn, it's time to explore. Or we could wake up to a blizzard, and the game can make a big liar out of me. Wow, a blizzard in Pleasant Valley. What a completely unexpected coincidence. This sort of thing is a complete rarity, has never happened to me before. I am so shocked, I do not know how to handle this course of events. And yes, despite our top quality clothes, we are still feeling almost negative 30. It's negative 40 air temperature and then uh, minus 30 wind chill on top of that. So, yeah, not the time for exploring. I'm sorry to say, Astrid. <laughs> hey, be good to see ya. How you doing? How's your weekend? Yeah, you, you have caught us, shockingly enough, stuck in a blizzard in Pleasant Valley. I know, a, a bizarre turn of events. Real quick, let me... There you go. But yeah, good.
Good to see you. Welcome in. Oh, How are you? Uh, are you uh, are you joining the Havas in doing the uh, the Goldilocks I have challenge? I to say, I'm a bit of a bunny sniper. What a weird talent to have. You know, like I'm quite decent at the sniping of bunnies. Where'd that other little shithead go? Oh, he to... And yes, you're absolutely right, B. It's just you know, yeah, absolutely terrible luck on my end. You know, this sort of thing just doesn't happen normally. Okay, so... <laughs> I even went to the trouble of making venison pies last night. You know, we got all that extra carrying capacity. And for what? Okay. Oh, could you... Wow. You couldn't finish that last 51 calories of wolf steak. Wow, Astrid. Wow. Okay. Well, okay, let's let's take this time. If the game's gonna make us stay indoors, let's at least make it productive. And let's fix things up, like say our socks. And our underwear. And maybe maybe the aviator cap too, although I do oh hang on. Done? I think it might be done. There we go. That's a girl. Okay. Yeah, the, the, yeah we, were, we were supposed to go out and find the prepper cache, but I guess, you know, Pleasant Valley had other ideas. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like not even noon. Okay, I'm going to grab these, and we are going to give off a stink. But you know what? We just got to go. Also, give Astrid a nice big sip of coffee before we take off. Hockey ducky. Now, if mem I think, uh, as I was saying when we first got in here, I wonder if the direct route might be best. So we just we just take a a B line, if you'll if you'll excuse the pun. Uh, yeah, we basically head this way, go across the river, and then we take that log bridge up to Skeeter's Ridge. And then we go find the plane crash, because my memory is that the prepper cache is somewhere in the vicinity of the plane crash. Not a hundred percent sure where, but I think I think I have an idea. Because uh we have hit, of the nine uh, bunkers in the world, we visited five. And only one has had anything in it. And that was the one in Forlorn Muskeg, which, in a, in a, a, a fitting nod to the Backpacker Rally Challenge, it was the Hunter Cache there. You know, the one with all the cured guts and saplings and tools and whatnot. But you basically the one everyone who wanted to, you know, finish the challenge in less than a week or a day, if you're certain people in chat, bash. You know, that that is the one they were all spamming their restarts for. But no, since then, nothing. Uh, Bleak Inlet, Milton, HRV, Mystery Lake, busts every one of them. So there's only four left, so two of them have to be loot laden, and then one of those other two has to be the one that has the. Uh, 
that has the recipe for prepper pie. Now, as it happens, the last the last places we need to visit are PV, Timberwolf, Ash Canyon, and Black Rock. So fun times ahead for me. Hockey ducky. So yeah, we'll follow, I guess we'll fo follow this path, and we are going with the birch forest, so we need to keep an eye out for the uh, the birch bear, and or birch moose. Do they ever spawn together? I don't know that I've ever seen the birch bear and the birch moose together at the same time. Although I suppose there's 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 uh is there anything saying that they can't? I'm not sure that there is, but anyway. Okay. No. Wait, wait. Okay. Hi. Hi, Moosin. We have the, well, the Moosin just hanging out right out front. You see the bear there? Oh, yeah. I, I see the moose. I've seen the bear. I did, oh, hang on. I, I, I answered my own question. Moose. Bear. Same place, same time. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll just uh, we'll just sashay away from all that. So, uh, I mean, I know I, I talk about the rough neighborhood outside the Quonset. That's it's a uh, it, it's a uh, it's not a not the birch forest, not the place for the fate of heart either. Hey, Shield Darkness, welcome in. Good to see you. Hope your weekend's going well. And and no, mighty high, we are not going to shoot the moose. We are we are staying on task. We are serious streamer with a serious stream. Definitely not because I'm a big scaredy cat. And the, and oh by the way, there is also the small issue of even if we were, we're going to have a pop at the moose. Um, there's the bear right, like, a hundred meters away. So even if we did bring it down, if we even started to harvest it, we would, uh, we would be the center of the bear's attention very quickly. Uh, so, oh yes, uh, Chill Darkness, I think this is, yeah, the, uh, well, th this is partly, a res uh, partly our, our, uh, our hoarding skills. But also, um, also because we made a, uh, a whole crap ton of cartridges in Bleak Inlet while we were power leveling to Gunsmithing 5. Because th this is our achievement, Astrid, who, you know, we've been getting every achievement under the sun with her that we can. Including uh, Skill Survivor, where you get all your skills up to level 5, including Gunsmithing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you not see Mighty High? Uh, the the bear was yeah. The, we had the moose, and then like the bear was wandering behind it. Like it it was like wandering left to right as we were staring down the moose. You never never crafted bulls before. Okay. Well, I, I will say um, it it is pretty useful. Um, you do have to be. You, you gotta look for stuff. You gotta find gunpowder, or you gotta get like gotta keep charcoal and stump remover and or what's the other one? Oh, and uh, dusting sulfur. Plus, when you when you fire off the rounds that you do that you start with, you you, you need to pick up those brass casings, and then and then on top of all that, you gotta find uh you have to find car batteries 
and then the ones that you don't use to you know power radio transistors you, you gotta uh, break those down for scrap lead but if you do all that you can make your own ammunition and it, it, it's a really good skill to have if you're going to have uh, runs with longevity because like the uh, the existing ammo is going to run out quickly Let me deal with this here real quick oh you're going to juke me huh yeah I don't think so you die like all the rest a little so and so trying to do a little shimmy shake and it confuse me I think not yes I, I honestly mighty high I, I I would flex more but <laughs> I think our, our, we, we, we've killed more than 300 wolves wolves just in particular on this run at some point it, it just all kind of they all kind of blend together you know the thrill is gone as BB King saying low those many years ago Uh, you got you just got more time in with the bow than guns is why you never made you need some long runs here. okay oh no that, that that's that's perfect that is perfectly valid chill darkness it is uh and honestly if, if you're gonna play higher difficulties loper in particular you definitely need to get good with the bow um I know it took me a good long while to do so but um now that I have I it is I I, I do I do prefer it I mean, <laughs> admittedly, a good chunk of my clips on this channel are of me, you know, firing off the revolver and getting some absolutely silly kills. Because they're just, they're fun to see. But, you know, in terms of, like, sticking around for the long haul, it, you know, figuring out the bow is all but an imperative, I think. Gun make makes Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, as 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 a noisemaker and for for uh, scaring off wolfies. Yeah, it is definitely very much worthwhile. Um, and actually, it is like it, it is one of the you know, other than like the uh, like flashbangs or the flashback, like the, uh, the the noisemakers, it is one of the few things that will reliably scare off Aurora Wolves. Okay, we start here. But, uh, I, it, it, but it, it'll only scare off the Aurora Wolves if they're not locked on to you first. As we, uh, as we confirmed uh, in yesterday's stream. Okay, yeah, the plane crash, the, 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 yeah, Skeeters pass the plane crash over there. But we want to go this way, I believe. And, and the other thing I'll say about gunsmithing is that I think it might be the, uh, I don't say the easiest, but like the fastest skill to level up. Because it, I think like in one session, I took Astrid from like gunsmithing three to gunsmithing five. Also, I should we should give her one of these pies. She's a little hungry, and you could, could use the extra carrying capacity. So yeah, if, if you haven't already, I say you know, don't don't be daunted by uh, gunsmithing and having to go to you know, Bleak Inlet or uh, or Blackrock to do the thing. Because it's... It can actually be done fairly easily. And if if you you know read all the gunsmithing books you find beforehand, it can be, you know, pretty done pretty quickly. It's 
Is it? Actually, that's a cave right there. I don't know that I've ever been in this cave. No, check it out. Yeah, just a cave cave. Not gonna take us anywhere, but... Mm, don't see any loot. Nope, and that's because there is no loot. Okay, that's just a just a plain old cave. All right. Nothing wrong with that. And and now the wind starts to blow directly in our face. Thank you, game. Very uh, atmospheric of you. Now, I don't know, um, I think, you know, Bash, you might be the ex, I think, I think you were talking about this, was it you on, the, on, on LD's Discord? This whole crab walking thing. Now, from what I understand, like, if you, crab walking is like moving diagonally, is it like moving diagonally, but facing forward, or, or the opposite? Facing diagonally, but moving forward. Apparently there's some controversy over that. Uh, hey, 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 there we go. Hello, friend. Yeah, I just... I don't think I'm guilty of it, but... Because I, I, I do the thing where like, I tack into the wind. Like, if I'm moving directly into it, I will... You know, we go this way. And then we go that way. And then we go this way. And then we go that way. You know, like a sailboat. Which I don't believe is considered crab walking, but I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, yeah, we have not been in this prepper cache, so let's see what, if anything, is in there. Wait, well, hey, check this out. The, whoa, okay. So this, you know, uh, the hammer, okay, this must be the generalist cache. This is the cache that I kept finding in, uh, yeah, and during the tournament, because it didn't have all the, it didn't have, it didn't have all the, uh, the, like the guts and the saplings and the whatnot, but it did have a hammer, and that is one of the things we were after. Oh, it's just pressing two movement buttons at once on a keyboard, but it's much more powerful with a controller. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so I'm not, still not uh, all that sure whether, whether that's what I'm doing or, but I guess, I guess if, if it comes up in a future tournament, I guess I will, uh, I guess I'll have to, I'll have to, you know, pay more attention to that. But for now, loot. Let's see, we got, oh, we got. I hope nobody needs this anymore. Revolver ammo, lovely. Putrefication tablets, no, take antibiotics. Leave that. Marine flare. There's a military coat. Not a particularly good one, but we got one. And then there's he has plenty of food. Oh, okay, a ruined go drink, but that's fine. Anything in here? Revolver ammo. Revolver. Looks like this has been here a while. Fifty-six percent. Pretty sure ours is better. Oh, yeah, by a long ways. Okay, got that, got that. Um, f flashlight? No, thank you. I will grab the food at the very least. Hmm. Okay. I'll just drop those socks. Don't need those. Thank you. Uh, it's diagonal walking on purpose to be faster. Okay, I, 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 I can I can see I can see why people would do it, and I can see why other people might look a little askance at it. 
Actually, I'm gonna, I'll grab the good clothing. How about that? Like, like wolves. Well, it's probably fine. Can leave that. Don't need advanced guns, 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 guns. Yeah, rifle. I think I, I think I not so accidentally left my rifle at the airfield, so don't didn't feel like dragging that around. So that and those can all stay here. I should make a note of that. Uh, let's see, PV, PV stuff up here. Okay. Uh, let's see, we got rifle, ammo, mats, food, this anymore pretty full okay love the crackers the the airline food can stay yeah wow okay so whoever was here they must they must have gone to the plane crash and then just yeah uh, grabbed as much uh as, as much of the airline food as they could you know probably carry in their hands and then made their way here. Um, well, the, it, I'm trying to remember what there was one. Was there one cache that had a, uh, a safe hidden in it somewhere, or was that maybe that was a different one, or is there? Can, can we get to? It might. It, well, even if it is back there, can we get to it? I don't know that we can. Um, yeah, fine. Grab the hammer. Uh, leave the boots. Gunpowder? Leave the gunpowder. What time is it? It's a little, just a little, like 2, 3 p.m. Um, hmm. Hang on. So if I, let's see, if I... Oh, it's like 30 minutes. Okay. Let's just see. Aha! There is. Now, can we get to it? Hey, there we go. Okay, that's about 10 ish. 10 exactly. Cool. That's about 50 or so. 45. Okay, call that 48. So, 10, 48. Come on. There we go. And we have revolver ammo. Lovely. And that's it. Okay. Little on the underwhelming side, but you know it's it's you know we're, so we we have increased our ammo holdings by fifty percent. So I guess I can't complain that loudly now, can I? Oh yeah, are we still? Yeah, we are still unburdened for another thirty minutes. Tell you what we'll do. Rather than lug all this all around the zone, which feels like a very bad idea, let's. Is he, do we take this to... No, let's take it to the farmhouse. The farmhouse is closer than Thompson's anyway. Hang on, before we do, let's give Astrid another pie. We'll top up her unburdened buff. Yeah, it was, so she's up to four, uh, 48 kilograms carrying capacity, and she's still overburdened. I'll tell you just how much stuff she's carrying around now. But I guess that that is the power of pies. And speaking of power, it's Prof Nels! 
Professor, welcome. Good to see you. Hello, pro hello, Prof. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing? How'd your stream go? You catch me just as we we have uh, engaged in some glorious looting. Here, let me give Prof a a good and proper welcome here, real quick, like. Nice and chill space travel, just what you were just what you were looking for. Oh, nice! You're playing some No Man's Sky. Oh, we annoyed the moose. And the moose is no longer annoyed. <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that was a spicy shot indeed. Oh, now if only I weren't freezing to death. Yeah, well done by you. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure, Prof. But welcome in, uh, and welcome into you, and welcome into your the folks who came in. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, and folks who came in, uh, with Prof Nels. Hi, I am Trooper Barry. I call myself a, a long dark slash variety streamer. I do about fifty percent long dark, fifty percent other fun, chill indie games on this channel. Uh, right now we are, well, we're in the in the business of some very heavy looting of Pleasant Valley. You're going to go destroy some bacon you've been smelling. They're going to try to swing back after the bacon has been baconated. Well, you... Well, Prof, you you bacon the bacon out of that bacon. All right. Yeah, th yeah thank you so much for bringing the raid and trusting me with your community. Yeah, yeah, def yeah definitely in enjoy the bacon and we'll, it will keep, and we'll see you around. Yeah, we're probably going to be going for about another hour here, at least. It's going to... It's going to take Astrid a bit to get herself and all of our all of her newly found loot back to where it needs to go. And Shiggity, hello! Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, can she actually get up here? She can. Lovely! Okay, and hearing the caw, 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 caw tells me this is exactly where we were just now. Cool. Yeah, so what we're doing here, um, oh, okay, Unburden is gone. Now we're five kilograms over. Well, just pop another venison pie. There we go. Yeah, um, this character is Achievement Astrid. She has been alive for, let's check the journal, 280 days and counting. I've been using her to check off Every Steam Achievement Under the Sun, you know, Wrapped in Furs, Resolute Outfitter, Stone Age Sniper, Skilled Survivor, and, you know, and she's handled them all with aplomb. So, and now we're going for the last one of the bunch, which, unsurprisingly, is 500 days. But, I, I am a very uh, task-oriented individual, so I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with things for her to do in the meantime. And so what I, th what I thought I'd have her do, and I am having her do, is she's going, basically going through the world a second time. And, because uh, she, uh, this, this file was, I guess, it was, you know, it, it was on hiatus uh, when the food update dropped. You know, she, you know, Astrid had already looted the world um, you know, they looted the lower Great Bear, and then she'd gone to the airfield to finish out the tails. And so, when the when the food update dropped, and then all, all the cool new stuff, I started up this file again. And basically, we've been going through looting the world a second time, you know, finding all the unique recipes, making all the unique recipes, and then... Also finding all the prepper caches, which is essential to finding all the recipes, since one of them will only spawn there. And I believe just before Prof uh, had you all join us, we just hit the uh, prepper cache in Pleasant Valley. And fortunately, it was the... this one was the second... Uh, loot-laden cache we found in the world. The first being in Forlord Muskeg. 
that was the hunter cache with all the, like, the cured saplings and guts and tools and whatnot. And this one was the generalist one. Also, did I pick up that hammer? I did pick up that hammer. Good. Okay. Yeah. So it, it had like food, weapons, had a hammer. Also a very a, a, a sneakily hidden safe, which, as it turned out, only had one box of rifle ammo. But you know what? It was something. And so that means uh, the, uh, the last three zones we have to hit are Timberwolf Mountain, Ash Canyon, Black Rock. You know, we, we, we've kind of been doing it in chunks. We did like Coastal Highway and Desolation Point together. We did Milton and HRV together. Now we're doing just kind of that kind of straight shot PV, Timberwolf, Ash Canyon, Black Rock. And since we found that one, that means uh, one of those last three prepper caches will have loot in it. I think the last one is like the, the last variant is like a food cache of some sort. And, uh, and the, uh, the other two will be empty. Well, mostly empty. And one of those two will have the recipe for prepper pie, which is a really good one to have. Because uh, apparently, uh, from what I understand, uh, if you make that and have it, it heals you for 25% HP on the spot. It, it, it's better than a stim. Now, it, it doesn't give you the sprinting that the stim does, and it will actually increase your cabin fever risk. But for 25% of your HP, I'd say it'd probably be worth it. So yeah, we we've uh, you know we found the recipe for Thompson family stew. Uh, I was about to make it, and then I noticed, wait a minute, you need reishi mushrooms to make the stew. And you do, in fact. Which which seems weird, but I guess it works. Yeah, we found that, made that, got stuck in a blizzard because Pleasant Valley. And then we then we ran out to the prepper cache. And so what I'm thinking, uh, it is getting late in the day. So what we'll have Astrid do is we will we'll get her back to the farmhouse. We'll drop off the stuff we don't want her to travel with, you know, like the hammer. And come tomorrow, assuming. PV lets us, we will head out for Timberwolf Mountain. And it, it is kind of a trip. Uh, you know, after, I think, spending like the best part of a month doing uh, breakfast in FA speedruns, where you know, we we're spawning in Ash Canyon and then making a, a breakneck sprint for the airfield. It's nice to be going the other way. Okay. Just just keep an ear an ear out for bear crows, because you know we, we are carrying around venison pies, which are one, delicious, and two, they give us extra carrying capacity, but they also do give off the old meat stink and with the uh, <laughs> with the knowledge that there is a bear that likes to wander around the farmhouse we do need to be careful of that okay back here um actually this is almost all the light traveling food i might actually keep all this Okay, yeah, we got clothing here. There we go. Yeah, that can go. That can go. Um, I should actually check that balaclava. What else did we grab? I think that was it. Um, oh, right. Oh, wait, no, I don't have to. We've got the tech balaclava. So we can just keep that as a backup. Yeah, the... Uh, as it, the the technical balaclava 
especially when combined with the aviator cap, it, do, it does make Astrid look very much like a baddie. Okay, all right, we got our cabinet of stuff here. See, uh, okay, we can leave the mushrooms behind. I'll take a couple pieces of cloth. We could we could do some we could do some repairs before we take off. Um, do, do, do. yeah, hammer. No. Um. Oh yeah, the uh, the jerry can. Oh, that's a, that's a that's a good amount of fuel. It might it might be worthwhile to keep that on us. Okay, and that's all fine. Yeah, no, nothing spare other than the Krampens. Oh, right. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, holy cow. We got, we're up to seven energy drinks. <laughs> I mean, I, I love them all. They're all they're all dear to my heart. I don't know that we need to carry them all around, though. Okay, that's all fine. Um, do we need all the... I, we, we can... We'll leave one stem behind, although I don't... I don't feel very good about that. Also, why do we have pain? No, no, well... I'm going to say, why do we have painkillers? Well, in, in, on the on the off chance we get a moose stomp. That's pretty much about it. Or I guess if we, if we somehow give ourselves a burn. I'm not intending to do those things for the record, but we're, we have to allow for the possibility. Anyway... Now, if we set out like this, we are going to be ever so slightly over. Yeah, it's for, yeah. When when the buff wears off, our, our carry capacity is going to be forty-five kilograms. And it's not terrible, but we uh, we are going to have to climb to get to Timberwolf Mountain. So, you know, this is something we should probably take care of. You know, unless someone unbeknownst to me, has come up with a uh, a reverse goat, and they can get up to you know, uh, get up to the entrance to Timberwolf Mountain without having to take the rope. And maybe there is, for all, for all I know. Okay, that's all fine. Um, I would normally balk at having that much ammo on us, but we are... We are eventually going to go to Black Rock. You could go through. Well, I, you know, my my mind was going to that that self same place, Bash. But I'm not gonna. If only, well, I guess, if only because I would like to. Um, I have I have a, I have a reasonably good idea where the. Uh, where the prepper cache is in black or in a uh, Timberwolf Mountain, and then if I if they get that, if we cross that one off the list, then it's been then it's a, uh, and if it's empty, then we know the last one is going to have they're, they're, they're both of the last ones are going to have something we want anyway. Um, yes. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, oh, it is not, it's not dark yet. Oh, right. That's what we were going to do. Uh, we got interrupted. We were doing, you know, touching up our clothing. So we will be in excellent condition when the time comes. Um, I would rather see if we can get this repair in for nightfall. Okay, there we go. That'll that'll do. Hang on. We we did just get a, a whole jerry can full of lantern fuel. We can probably, yeah, we can. We can spare a little bit, especially with a fancy lantern that doesn't burn fuel nearly as quickly. Okay.
It does sound like Pleasant Valley is being all pleasant out there. I guess that's to be expected. Oh, hang on. Can we... Can we squeeze in one more repair, maybe? How much leather do we have? Two. Okay, well, let, let's hold off on that. Okay. Yeah, now it is well and truly dark. I don't think the game's going to let us repair again. We can try. Well, well, thanks. It, it let us get halfway through. Uh, the game is just being rude. Again. Okay, so. Yeah, so we'll give Astrid a nice full night's sleep. And... Conditions allowing, we make for Timberwolf Mountain. Although those conditions don't sound particularly allowing. But then again, you know, for for all I know, this is again just Timberwolf or uh, uh, PV being PV. Okay, well, let's poke our head outside and then see how friendly the game is going to be to us and, uh, and our intent. Oh, hang on. I almost forgot cooking supplies. Or did we drop all of them? Oh, no, we dropped all those at, uh, at the bingo hall. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. I mean, it's not fine, fine, but, you know, it's given where we are and what could be happening, it's fine enough. Okay, well, grab that real quick, although it sound, it doesn't sound like torch staying lit weather. Oh, yeah. 20 degrees? Not likely. Although that is a positively gorgeous sunrise. You know, say what you will about Pleasant Valley, and many people have. And will continue to do so. You know, it, in like... When it, when it wants to, it can be very picturesque. And of course, when it, when it also when, when it also wants to, it can be absolutely brutal and make you regret ever playing this game. Oh, yeah, yeah, given, you know, given the fact that the uh, game is sending the wind in directly from the direction we want to travel, we'll, we'll do my little thing, we'll tack into the wind, and yeah, if we can stay down here, maybe we can stay out of the wind, too. You know, move that little bit faster, and keep Astrid just that little bit warmer. Hmm, excuse me.
Okay, uh, see, now, all right, we lost our wind protection there. So if, if the, if the prepper cache in Timberwolf is where I think it is, Yeah, we, we probably go to Mountaineers first. Not going to be anything new there, but... Well, actually, you know, probably. Almost certainly. I've never seen any, like, potatoes or carrots or cooking mats there, so that's fine. You ever turned? Hey, Will, welcome back. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll go to Mountaineers, and then, if memory serves, the... Uh, the prepper cache is kind of it's like it's like you're on your way to uh to that the uh, deer clearing climb as though you were making your way up to the summit but it's uh it's off to the side has 7-eleven for lunch solid has uh uh Taquitos? Is that what those are? Tacitos? Taquitos? I, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure they were you know nice and crunchy delicious just by the sound of them and if they're 7-eleven you know the the modern 7-eleven they probably were pretty decent You know, I, I, I guess you had to allow there. There is some variance, you know, country by country. But like the, uh, like the Seven Eleven here has like some decent reliability. Like they have like uh, the like the big like the uh, uh, musubi, and uh, like uh, what do they call it gimbap, like the the the, uh, the Korean rolls. Some of those are really good. I think they recently came out with a a musubi. It, it's like a you know like a big. Basically, like a rice, like a uh, an open face rice sandwich, and the latest one is it's like a, a a curry chicken katsu in between like the rice and the uh, and the uh, the seaweed that's on the outside. It's really good. Gotta be horrible for you, but it tastes really good. And honestly, any, anything that that says curry on the label, I, I have to try, because I'm just that much of a fiend. It's your Sunday treat. Nice, good stuff. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, well, honestly, what we'll do, we'll probably follow the same path we took to the uh, to the cache, but rather than taking that turn and then going left past that cave we found, uh, we'll go right because if if memory serves, that should take us yeah, it should take us like like past that hunter blind. And then uh, eventually to the point of disagreement, and then we can make our way to Timberwolf from there. Now that that is also uh, bear patrol territory, so we'll have to be on our guard. Oh, careful! That is a pretty steep drop. There we go. Uh, you just watching a video on people who believe they, the free person. They don't. Oh, the uh, the yeah, that was like, like the the free citizen movement or whatever, like the freemen on the land. The people like the people who put weird the lowercase letters and punctuation in their names so they don't. The, you're you're a corporation. You're not a human. Yeah. They're special. You know, the kind of special... The pe people who think, like, the law is a series of magic words 
where if you say them in just the right order, you know, you can basically ignore any law you want to. Although, I hate to break it to you, Will, they're in the UK now, too. I know, y'all are supposed to be smarter than us, but I guess we... Sover sovereign citizen citizenry appeals across the ocean. But yeah, it, it is supremely dumb. Like, you can't just walk into a court and say, there's gold fringe on that flag, this is an admiralty court! And then the judge just smiles and nods and says, okay, that's, that's, okay let's... Let's just get you a nice seat. Oh, you dealt with them when you worked for TV license. Oh, oh, did you have to collect the uh, the BBC license? Yeah, I can't imagine you were very popular among them. Oh, you were in the complaints team. Oh, good. So you didn't actually have to do the collection. Because I know I the... Uh... In my time in Japan, I got the uh, I got a visit from the NHK license collectors every so often. And the thing is, like, if you if you if you don't have a TV, you don't have to pay. And and uh, I know people will lie, but uh, you know, honest to God, I didn't have a TV. You know, my my place was that basic. I mean, I offered to let them come in and see, but they 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 they, they took my word for it. But yeah, I I, I hear people you know, complain bitterly about the the NHK people coming by, trying to get what was owed them. And yeah, I don't I don't imagine the people at the, at the Beeb have much better time of it. You were on the phone for a little while in the call center, but moved out of that quickly. Probably smart. Especially, you know, I mean, it's just, like, dealing with the TV licensing in general, and especially having to deal with, like, sovereign citizen type folks, that, that can erode your soul real quickly. Okay, so now, gotta remember, yeah, we got the. Yeah, we got the Hunter Blind to our back. I think this... Okay, got to see a Wolfie up there. I think this is the way we want to go. Nope, it very much is. Because there's the rope right there. You just remove your implied right of access to companies you don't want on your property. And then it's trespassing. Hmm... So I, am, I am not a lawyer. I, I, I claim no knowledge as to the soundness of that or any legal theory. Okay, so wait real quick. How are we? Wait, okay, we're, we're close weight-wise, but... We give Astrid another venison pie. And we'll chase that with a lovely cup of cold coffee. There, she should be able to climb that just fine. She'd be able to climb it even finer had I remembered to put the crampons on, but... At, th at this point, I don't... Well, one, it's too late, but... For that climb, is less of a bit less of a big deal. Also, how are we fuel wise? Thirteen sticks. Okay. Fourteen and fifteen. Okay, good. Onward. Uh, it's for posties, delivery firms, or police. There is an implied right of access for them that can be on your property. It can be removed at any time. Oh, I'll just be able to keep trying to sell you stuff. Oh, do you still get door-to-door -door solicitors? Are those still a thing? See, I, I would I would have thought the internet would have done for them, like with the the encyclopedia salesman. But I, I, I guess they're still, you know, hustle culture is still very much a thing all the damn time. Well, that's that's unfortunate. 
And let me guess, they, they don't show up at convenient times, do they? They do the same thing as the people doing phone surveys and they, they show up during dinner when they know people will be home. I'm sure that makes them very popular. You're always at work. Yep, yep. And you shout at them over the ring. The ring. Oh, right. The uh, the Amazon thing. Not the... Not the Wagner thing. Or the... Uh, or the... Uh, the, I guess, cursed videotape? Although that would be something. If if you can if you can set your ring up to be like was it Samara in the ring, say you know if you bother me during dinner you will die in seven days. Although they might they might take that as just a little aggro. Well. Yeah, I started to hear you have to deal with that because I know it's not like you don't have enough. You're not juggling enough plates as it is. But yeah, that's. Yeah, as as far as yeah, well, I guess I don't. I was gonna say in in you know where my mom lives, you don't have to deal with that so much. But then again, she she does work outside the house, so it's. it's if someone rocks up at 1.30 in the afternoon, it's not an issue, because she's not there. Hang on. Just in case the moose is up. We should probably have this loaded and ready. I don't hear a moose. I'm, I'm very pleased about that. But just in case... Uh, okay, no moose. Awesome. Uh, while, we're, while we're in the neighborhood, let's we'll grab ourselves a couple pieces of birch bark. Do we need them? No, we have nine prepared birch bark as it is. Am I going to take them anyway? you damn right. Because they are lightweight and potentially life-saving. go and, with, and they're even better when you have an even number okay so that done switch through that oh yeah hey bun bun don't mind me yeah so we'll pop over the ridge go to mountaineers uh there is a high likelihood there'll be a a large pile of meat sitting out front actually maybe even non-meat products as well because if, if memory serves, uh, yeah, this is where we were holed up when we were trying to do living off the land, where you eat nothing but, like, plants and meat you harvest from nature for, I think, 20 days. And we, we lived, like, did a lot of living off of, like, teas and cattails and, and meat, obviously. Uh, yeah, so we... Oh, wow. There's, there's our maple syrup collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. As you, as you can tell, we we were here a while. Oh, yeah, a, a, a while. <laughs> I got to, let me remind myself how how long do we spend in in Timberwolf? Forty three days. Okay. Yeah, more more than you know anywhere else. Not exactly surprising. It's just you know what this is. 
it's reassuring. You know, it's a uh, it's a reminder of not just you know where we've been, but how far we've come, and all the all the death and destruction we have we have <laughs> we have uh, enacted as we've been out and about. <clears throat> anyway. Ooh, there's a bunch of new maple. Okay, nice. So if we were to make a new bow, and we might. Yeah, that was a 64%. This would be a good place to do it. Matter of fact, I think before we set off for Ash Canyon and Blackrock, I think making a new bow is something we should very much do. Okay, how are we carrying capacity wise? We're well, no, we're, we're going to be right at it uh, when the buff wears off. And what can we leave behind? Well, we can leave that. That'll help a lot. Yeah, we can keep having those. Um, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, right. So, it is... Oh, it, it's only noon. All right, well, let's... Let's make our way toward where I believe the prepper cache is. Now, one thing I'm thinking of is like, um, I'm thinking like late, late in this run. Like, if, if like if, if all goes well, you know, we keep Astrid alive, push her toward. Oh, hang on. This looks like a blizzard that's coming in. Yeah. Animal, you know, doe, bun buns. I would run off if I were you. Yeah, that's set in pretty quickly. Because my, my thinking was, uh, one, one thing I've heard people who have been like late in runs, especially like, you know, try to pass more time to get to 500 days. One strategy I've heard them do is like when they're close, they'll just, they'll go somewhere with a fishing hut, you know, take a bunch of firewood and or coal with them and then just fish for days on end. And they put the, uh, and they'll sleep in there in the in the hut, obviously, because especially now that you can apparently you can put your bedroll on top of the uh, not only on top of like the the containers that are like down at knee level, but you can even put it up top on the shelf that's at like eye level, and it's it's just hilarious. And I'm wondering, if I was to do that, where would we want to go? We kind of already did that in Coastal Highway. Uh, power leveling to Fishing 5. I think we can do it in Mystery Lake. Because uh, we, st we still have yet to catch the rare, uh, you know, the rare freshwater fish. We caught, like, what is it, like, the Red Irish Lord and the Rockfish? The latter of which we actually needed to do the Dock Worker's Pie. Um, but yeah, there's there's the rare ones of that we still need to get. Yeah, we, we could easily do it in Mystery Lake, or we could do it here. I mean, there's plenty of, uh, you know, plenty of firewood about. There's no coal, but we can bring coal back. Or, yeah, or or there's uh there's transition caves to Black Rock and Ash Canyon where we can go in and grab there, easy peasy. Um, but yeah, Ash, is he? Did we spawn? Oh no, we spawned in Pleasant Valley. Okay, I can say it would be it would be you know uh fitting to end where we started, but 
we didn't start here. We start. No, it was it was the Loper Run that spawned in Timberwolf Mountain. Right. Okay. Anyway. Um. Yeah, it is only noon. Let's see if we can coax this blizzard into going away and le leaving us some time. Okay, not off to a great start. I mean, I don't, I don't want to just uh, sleep. Uh, if I keep her sleeping, she's gonna be, you know, full of energy when nightfall comes. Let's see how much cloth we have? Five cloth. Did I stash any cloth? No, but and there's there's plenty here we could turn into cloth if we were so inclined. Oh, hey, that's what we can do. We can take those. Let's see, we, we have two arrowheads, and we have, yeah, we have enough. Uh, grab a, uh, grab one of those birch saplings. Yeah, we can actually get started on that, uh, make some more arrows, and then make a uh, new bow while we're waiting for this to pass. There we go. And we'll use the quality tools. Takes down to 45 minutes each. And still going. She gave me that maple sapling. And we'll grab the nearest cured guts. And it's going to take, what, five hours? I think to make the bow. Well, we certainly have time. Yep, okay, well, let's... Let's just do it as long as the game will let us. Okay, and the game's... And the blizzard petered out... Right around... Nightfall. Well, boo. But... also means we can take our uh where's our less good bow yeah just take that pop that right in there and also we'll, no need to carry on that arrow shaft we're gonna pop that there okay so we'll just we'll just set up for the prepper cache in the morning Actually, what, what? There's no need to eat our traveling food. Not when there is just loads of food sitting literally right outside the door. There we go. Okay, so... Hopefully, the weather will be more cooperative when Astrid wakes. And, well, uh, she, and she wakes before sunrise, as she does so often. Although, it is, it is a, uh, it is a remarkably clear night. I'd love to be able to tell what kind of moon it is out there, but the, uh, you know, the <laughs> landscape is just not cooperating there. Anyway. Alright. We good? Very good. Everything is nice and visible. Grab one of those. We may need to make more water before we take off. 
I think we're all right there. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, Astrid's breakfast will be... Why should we well, we'll hold off on that? Yeah, let's go check the, uh, we'll go check where I think the prepper cache is. If it's empty, then we'll, you know, we can just ease off. But if there's stuff there, then we can give her some of the, uh, another one of those venison pies. And then we can have her lug stuff back and <laughs> make Mountaineers even more overcrowded than it already is. Uh, oh, right, Will. Um, I think... I can't believe you mentioned it in Daunt's chat. Um, did you say you finished Witcher 3? I, I, I see the little Steam pop up. Tells me you're, you're playing Witcher 3. Have you finished that out? And if so, how did you enjoy it? Oh, you finished the main story for the tenth time. Okay, well, you you must be having fun if that's the case. If you if you keep coming back for more. If that is your tenth time. How much you enjoy it? Okay, well that that's that's perfectly yeah that's perfectly understandable. Okay, watching for bear. Watching for moose. There is bear. Geralt is the best video hero in video game history, in your opinion. Ooh, that is a big shout. Um, so what what uh, what metrics are you using there to for his bestness? And I, I, I'm not, you know. Not casting doubt on. I'm just not having played the game myself. I am. I am. I'm much less familiar with it than you. So I, you know, what what is the elevator pitch for Geralt as best video game hero? Uh, just his character. He isn't perfect, but he is normal. Okay. Okay, not seeing the moose, that's fine. Uh, right, yeah, what we want to find, yeah, a uh, forest cave is back there. We want to go this way, I'm pretty sure. Oh, of course, we'll grab the birch bark, because of course we will. But you can also kick anyone's ass. Ah, okay. Uh, play it. Not is it streams? It's a great game. Um, when you say stream suicide, is it, is it like not that popular, or or is it like the FromSoft games and you'll get you'll get uh, randos coming in telling you what to do? Because that, that that's one of the things that gives me pause about playing Elden Ring is that it is. From what I've seen, your people playing it, they'll, they'll, you'll have a steady stream of first-time shatters. Their their first message will start with a verb, and they'll they'll try to tell you the proper way to play the game, which just happens to be how they play it. Okay, yeah. See, we're going we're going across the bridge. We want to go. I think it's like somewhere. Around there is where I believe it should be. Okay, got to remember not don't go over blind hills. 
try to inculcate good habits and try to, you know, shake off habits that could get Astrid killed. Not that it stops me, of course, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta remember, we are we, we, we have we have short term goals, we have medium term goals, long term goals. Now, okay, we are going to be able to get up this ridge, right? Actually, let me just... Maybe we hedge our bets. Oh, you actually, you can see the... You can see the... Uh, you can see the back end of the plane on top of the, of the summit there. That's a heck of a view. Oh, no, those are... Those are traveling crows. Okay. Oh, and could it be is it over here? Nope, it's right here. Ha ha. Okay. Oh, that yeah, that is that is quite the view. Okay, so, yeah, it, it's a one in three chance to have loot, or yeah, one in three chance to be loot laden, a uh, two in three chance to have something. And it, what, whoop, oh, hey, whoop, hello. Okay. Well. Fire logs got cherry can. Ooh, that was almost a full set. Wow. Almost. Actually, no, it is. There's a. Uh... Yeah, the uh, the other one is right there. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, there's. God, there's so many. There's so much stuff. A stim? Well, thank you. Okay. Now, this is... Well, this is different. Ooh, a Mariner's Peacoat. This is, a. Uh... Wow, this is actually a, uh... A prepper cache with a kitchen. And glasses. How sophisticated. Oh, I see. Oh, the... Uh, the locker could be locked, but there's a there's a pry bar right there. My goodness. Look at all this. I will say like of of all the prepper caches we've seen so far, you know, this is probably the one that's the most livable. You got, you got the bed, of course, but you, you got your you got your little kitchenette. You have your storage solutions. The storage solutions are always important, whether in the in the pre or post apocalypse. You got a bunch of food. Ooh, got a, got coffee. Love having coffee there. Grab that. Uh, yeah, I think let's just. Oh, hi. Mucklux just sitting there. Okay. So we're going to be taking a whole lot of stuff back to Mountaineers. Because I am not going to let this just sit here. There is every chance Astrid will be very heavy. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to sacrifice for your art. And in, and in our case, okay, we, our art is looting. I'll take it. Jeez. Actually, no, give, do give me those. We can break those down for leather to repair our... 
Wait, it's here? Hang on a minute. I thought the prepper pie recipe was, you know, it was supposed to be in the, uh, in the prepper cache that didn't have anything. It was supposed to come off a corpse. I mean, I'm not upset. Certainly not. Okay, well, there's the, uh, there's the leather I was worrying about. <laughs> oh, oh, one loper, I see. Oh, thank you for that correction, Bash. Well, that suddenly makes a lot more sense. Oh, there's an improvised knife, too. Wow. I, yes, Astrid, you've made that abundantly clear. And it's going to get heavier, if I'm honest. Okay, well, it's slightly disappointing there, but I guess we can't be, can't be too, 95% Fire Striker. Sure, why not? This will come in handy. Not going to say no to more coffee. Nope, 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 the, the other one. Thank you. Now, yeah, they, obviously, we're not going to be taking all this in one go. That would be, that would be potentially terrifying. There we go. Prepper pie. A dense pie made from forest vegetables. Rough around the edges. You don't say. Oh, let's hang on. Let, let me check. Is that all the recipes? Oh, no. There's still, no, there's still the one in Ash Canyon. So, almost all the recipes. Although that does tell us that the, uh, so the Ash Canyon and Black Rock uh, caches will be empty. So, we can, uh, Keep our, you know, keep our expectations suitably grounded. Okay. Yeah, she's 20 kilograms overweight. Feels unwise to travel like that. And we can lighten her load a bit, but... Yeah, and then we can we can have... Where is it? Where do our pies go? Yeah, they're still elegant. And I believe that buff does not stack. Yeah, so now, now we're only 15 kilograms overweight. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll make a note in the old journal. Uh, Timberwolf Mountain. There we. There we go. You always wonder where they got the idea for elegant. Well, it's like in like elegant being a step down from gourmet. And it's like you know, gourmet, elegant, acceptable. Uh. Was it like rough and then ruined? I uh, see. Tools, bedroll, mats. But yeah, 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 yeah that, that, that is that is odd, Prof. Is it? It's like the, the whole progression of that. Okay, it is, it's before noon. Temp-wise, we're okay. Mm. Yeah, I figured that was coming. Mm. Wow. 
wasting no time. And we're even wearing our Krampus. So much for less brain chance. I'm waiting until she gets off the slope. Okay, there. It's the areas that don't look particularly steep that seem ankle you the worst. Oh yeah, you know, sh strong agree there. Because like especially the, uh, <laughs> I I more than one time I've had it where, you know, you, you know, like you're going down or you're going down a slope and you get almost all the way down with no ill effects, and then like that last step or two, that's when the angle goes. That was, uh, <laughs> memorably, that happened in, uh, in, on our loper run in Broken Railroad. And it was like, you know, go, you know we were going, we were going down from the, uh, you know, the climbing area that's at the end of that long trail, um, where if you, if you leave the, uh, you, you leave the hunting lodge, then you follow all the way back, there's that one climbing point where you can just, you can go bop, 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 and then you're, like, right there at the uh, maintenance yard. Took that. Everything went fine. Oh, like, the first like the first step after landing on the ground. Ankle sprain. Step two. Step three. Lose the 1% roll and get butt worms. And that, and that it was 1%. Yeah, I, like... It was it was like almost 24. No, not quite 24, obviously, because the roll was still happening. But like, you're like 20 odd hours after having one piece of wolf meat, and then Azrid rolled that critical fail, and then had to spend the next 20 days sucking down reishi tea and antibiotics and watching her health bar and her energy just evaporate. Although, again, oddly, that might have been what kept that run alive. Because my plan was to have her have her leave and go to Coastal Highway, but you know, given the 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 uh, wallop to her energy that was coming, I had her stay there, just brutalize the local wildlife, make a bunch of animal skin clothing. And then I was, you know, eat all the wolf meat she could, because that was allowed. And yet, absolutely, Prof, it was, it was a rough 20 days, but I honestly believe that, like, at the end of it, we, cause we cause, like, I think that that happened around, like, day 30 to 35, and in the interim, you know, making the, the, making that clothing that makes loper bearable after day 50 you know that honestly that that prop that probably saved her i don't know if it saved her but it, it made her life so much easier because we, we can go you can go out and about um and we're not like super fantastic off i mean we got like the deer pants the deer boots Rabbit skin hat, rabbit skin mitts, wolf skin coat. So good stuff. We and and I think in that run we still have the bear skin bedroll, but I'm not a not hundred percent sure of that. You had similar experiences in the time you got to rest off moose ribs. Oh yeah, because like how how long is that? Is it like a week? Cause you get like, you get like you get, it's like two bandages, two doses of painkillers or or rosehip tea. And just like uh, like a week's worth of rest, and in that week you've got like no climbing, very little sprint meter. It yeah, it probably it very much forces you to stay where you are. And unfortunately, as as um, as I am led to understand, uh, moose stomp stack. So you, you can get multiple instances of broken ribs.
And yeah, th this this is kind of excruciating, but honestly, it's, it's what we asked for. You know, you know, we we could have done multiple trips, or we could have just left stuff there. But why would I do that? I mean, leaving loot behind? Do you know who I am? That is not what we do on this channel. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so I see a... Uh, have a we got a visual on Bear Friend out there. It's probably going to come wandering this way for too long. And I think I saw at least one. Yeah, there's one wolf. Probably a second somewhere around here. So... Although it sounds like one of the wolves has a... Uh, they're getting their fill, probably one of the local deer. So, hope. Nope, there it is. Yeah, right, right there. And yes, thank you, bear crows. I do hear you, but uh, you know we, we've had a visual on the bear. That'll have to do. Let's see, there's a wolf. There's a wolf, and there's a wolf. I mean, if I wanted to be spicy, you know, pop off a, a revolver around and let, just let them go their merry ways. But the problem is, well, multiple problems. Not the least of which is, being wolves, they'll probably run off and then put themselves directly in Astrid's path, which we very much do not want. Oh, and there's also the not insignificant issue of the uh, revolver round. Attracting the attention of Bear Friend. Also something we very much do not want. You score. <laughs> yeah, if. But no, I think the... <laughs> I mean, I, I, I hear you, Prof Nels. I, I, I understand. It would be suitably epic. But you know, we're but much like Kiri uh, yesterday calling for us to uh, engage in some freeform goading. Um, we're trying to make decisions that will keep Astrid alive and get her closer to our long-term goal of 500 days. And much as I appreciate the uh, the notion, um, I, don't, I do not trust in my marksmanship enough to... Like, I, I guess, in this... Uh, I, let me say this. In Astrid's current state, if she was in a position where she could, I don't know, run away, then I, I might be more willing to play a little fast and loose. But if we're about 20 kilograms over a carrying weight, I say no. But yeah, Kiri is a fantastic TLD role model. Especially because wherever wherever she goes, whatever she does in the game, she is having a fantastic time. And would that we all had as much fun and love and appreciation playing this game. Because I I don't I don't think I mean I, I'm not I'm not. Wait a minute. What the hell? What I What the hecking heck is this? Is this some kind of modern art display? These six <gasps> No. These are the arrows that were in the bear that yeeted itself into the mountain. They're back. Friends, it's Krimbus! It's Krimbus in September! First off, I need, I, need, I, need, I need so many photos of this.
I mean, do we need to be carrying more stuff? Absolutely not. Will we? You're damn right we will. Look at this. <laughs> Can you believe that? That just, you have six good condition arrows just sitting right there. Why? Who knows? Yeah, Will. The, the bear from Want to See a Magic Trick? Your, you know, your clip, which, you know, is doing, you know, doing Bonzo, like, four-digit numbers on, on YouTube, by the way. Like, that, those arrows came from that bear. There, like, there was, I'd put six arrows into it. At least two or three rifle rounds, and then, but I, because uh, it, it, it took all those, and it it it, it actually it, it went like up the river. It went right up there, on the other side of that rock, and it was sleeping, and so I, I crept up near it. I put one revolver round into it, and then it just you know the thing where it like does a little turbo, like it has turbo jets and it heals, and it, like it does the thing where it zoops around you. You've probably seen that many times. Like, it did that. It went into the rock. And I never saw it again. And my... At the time, my biggest complaint, in addition to, like, missing out on all the meat and the, the, the bear hide, was that it took six of my arrows with it. But I can't say that anymore, because I have them back now. That is, I mean, the game throws surprises at us on a, you know, on a semi-regular basis. You know, people like, you know, like, like Prof Nels, like Kiri, you know, Kimmy, Blades, etc. You know, people who have you know, thousands of hours in this game, you know, e even there, they get surprised every so often, but for... Of all of all the surprises I thought the game could throw at me, just serving up the six arrows I thought were gone forever on a silver platter, and in a very, a very tasteful kind of artistic array, that is, that was not among their number. I did not expect to ever see them again, and I'm delighted. <laughs> okay, so it's. Now we're going to move even slower, but we'll go ahead and give Aster the last of her venison pies, the Elegant, just to have her move that little bit quicker. Emphasis on little. Oh, what's happening? It's a Tina raid! Tina, hello, friends. Tina, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in, folks. How you doing? How'd your stream go? You are catching Astrid just as she is lugging entirely too much stuff back from the uh, prepper cache here in Timberwolf Mountain. Pause real quick. Hey, Sarah, good to see you. Also, hello. Let me give Tina a good and proper welcome, for I am a good and proper streamer. I also like... Going skinny dipping at night, and, yeah. and I enjoy walks in the park at Not night. Not gonna miss anything because we are moving very slowly. You know, doing stuff that doesn't. My pleasure, Tina. But yeah, welcome in. How did your stream go? What sort of shenanigans did you all get up to? And also for anyone who came in with Tina's raid and you don't know me already, hi, I am Trooper Barry. I call myself a long dark slash variety streamer. I do about 50% long dark and 50% other various and sundry indie games. Uh, you're catching me in uh, you know, uh, 
this is Achievement Aster. This is our character we're trying to push to 500 days. And we're also going around the world a second time, because we've already done Faithful Cartographer. Um, we're looking for all the recipes, making all the recipes, and finding all the prepper caches. And we just found the Timberwolf Mountain prepper cache. And we have looted it within an inch of its life. Now, the thing is, um, we need to find a place to store all of our stuff, because um, Mountaineers has seen a lot of use, and my, uh, my pack rat tendencies keep getting the better of me. So I think we're going to, we're going to, we're going to make... Yeah, we're going to make this the, I guess, the clothing corner. Hey, Bochia, good to see you again. Welcome in. Okay, we're going to just drop all that stuff. We got a, a fresh pair of mucklucks. Can you believe that nonsense? And a peacoat. Oh, no, the, the, the ear wrap is ours. All right, the, uh, the plaid shirt. I think Azrid feels as Canadian as she needs to be already. And we got... We got... Yeah, we got tins of coffee. Uh, the, the, uh, the, yeah, the, so it turns out the uh, the cache in Timberwolf Mountain was a food cache. With a whole mess of coffee and canned goods and MREs, crackers, you know. Just regular, like, walking around stuff. I guess, can we, can we drop those here, maybe? Because, I mean, I love the MREs, but also, they're also heckin' heavy. And am I going to be carrying, what is that, one, two, three, four tins of coffee around us? Arguably, no. I mean, I would love to. I just don't think it's very practical. Now, three tins of coffee, though. Now, that's something. Okay. There. Astrid's a little zip here. Uh, stream is good. You did a short run. You got mauled by an Aurora Bear. Oh, no. Was it uh, Was it in PV? Is that... Uh, it does seem like, like, the, like the, the bear that lurks... By the, uh, well, I guess it's, uh, it's either like near uh, Signal Hill or by the uh, the transition cave to Winding River. That seems to be getting a lot of a lot of people. I know it got me. Okay, what else can we offload? Probably a lot of things. Uh, oh right, yeah, we did pick up multiple. Oh shoot, this is almost full. Okay. Yeah, we we are in in RNG. I I wish we could have got during the challenge. Yeah, you know, I've been I am replete with go drinks. And that that doesn't include the ones that we left here. Okay, but we're still yeah we're still way over. Oh yeah, we got a we got a uh, a fresh fire striker. We don't need the old one. Oh, right. Yeah, we also got a cooking pot there, which we don't need to carry that around. Probably don't need all those. But we almost certainly don't. Oh, oh, right. And we also found a fresh, uh, where is it? A fresh flare gun don't need and 20 okay I love having 20 flare shells I don't think we necessarily need to carry 20 flare shells oh nope the uh, I said we can drop the pry bar but the is too full
Alright, we'll drop the pry bar and the hatchet. That'll probably help a lot. Uh, PV by the rope to signal hill. Right, right. You only see her when there's an aurora. Oh, you're doing a quick break. Oh, yeah, you're still trying to get a, uh, trying to get a, a, a time in there. That makes sense. Okay, we drop that. And, where is it? And we drop that. What? Oh, good grief. What? Why? Too close. How? What? What other object? Game, you're being weird. Wait, so the pry bar can go on there, but the hatchet can't? Strange. Anyway. Yeah. How, how, how much longer is the challenge going? Um, I, th I think there was talk of it going like a month. It, it feels like a month, but I, I, I could very well be wrong. Oh, right. And the quality tools. Pretty sure we already have a set there, but there we go. Okay, we're getting closer. But yeah, we're, we're going to lose that extra buff, because we, we've been, we've been uh, trying to get away with this by using venison pies to carry around a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, the uh, the... Pleasant Valley and Timberwolf prepper caches were the last two loot-laden ones, and in a in a surprise to me, um, the food uh, I, I guess if you're below Loper, it is the food cache that will have the recipe for prepper's pie. And it, oh, actually, this is something we could make. Oh, oh, wait, well, maybe not, because we don't have cooking oil. But yeah, so you need acorn grounds, we have those. Reishis, those are out and about. Burdock, I can find those. Oil, not so much. Okay, salt also as well. But yeah, yeah, that that's easily, that's easy to make. Or so it seems. Extra stamina, lowers your carrying weight. But yeah, yeah, this, this is the one, this is the recipe that gives you 25% health on the spot. Not like not like uh, extra max condition for three hours, but like just heals you up. So like if if, if you're one of those bug nuts people who likes to play no goa, this is the recipe for you. Can I can I just get the coffee in there, please? Please, game. Please, hinterland hitboxes. <sighs> Thank you. Anyway. So, yeah, we, we found all but the uh, the prepper caches in Ash Canyon and Black Rock, which is where we're going next. And then we just need to find the, uh, the recipe in Ash Canyon and then make that and the prepper pie. And then our... I guess our our medium term goal for this run is complete. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I just had a thought. Um since we have daylight and we know what we need, what if we were to real quick like run out and see if we can find some actually didn't didn't I Oh no, I left my reishi mushrooms back in Pleasant Valley. That's what happened. Well, you know what? If that's the case, maybe we would be better off. Yeah. What if we, inst inst like, my thinking was we go to Timberwolf, and then we go to Ash Canyon, and then we go to Black Rock. You know, standard progression. But, what if instead, you know, we, we, uh, well, we bask in our loot. Oh, yeah, and, and the reason all this is here, um, as I say, this is our achievement, Astrid. Uh, one of the ones we tried to do with her was living off the land. So, only, like, only meat and plants you harvest uh, for, like, 20 days. You have to live off of those exclusively, like, no, no old world food. 
So I guess I just I left all these out there and they never came back for them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so my thinking is just for fun, and especially since it, unlike the other pies, it won't give off a, a meat stink. What if we were to double back to Pleasant Valley? Make prepper pie there, because like the, we'll have the salt and the oil at uh, at the bingo hall, and then we can just follow the road past the barn, past the farmhouse, and then we we go. Which we we do like Bash said earlier. We we go through Keepers Pass, and then uh, we go to Black Rock that way, and then we come out into Ash Canyon to wrap things up. Because I have a pretty good idea where... Actually, you no, know, I know exactly where the uh, Black Rock Prepper Cache is. Because I, I saw Kiri go there. But yeah, the Ash Canyon Prepper Cache, I am completely clueless. So. And it, it, we can uh, get in and out of Black Rock with a quickness. Because I still don't... I still don't like that zone very much. And instead... You know, spend more time wandering Ash Canyon, which also not exactly friendly, but, you know, it doesn't have timber wolves. So there is that. Yeah, I like that plan. I think we're going to do that. But that's the thing we can do on the morrow, because Astrid is quite tired. Uh, you're, as you're going to do, you're doing laundry. Okay, I'm getting soon. Lovely. Okay, so what do we want to do in the interim? Oh, right. And then the, the reason these animal skin clothing uh, items are here, and we also did uh, Wrapped in Furs and Resolute Outfitter. And like the, the little, I don't want to call it cheese, but like the approach I found was like, you make, you make, uh, you, you get your clothing up to 100%, but you don't drop it, you just put it in your inventory where it loses condition slower. So as you're as you're patching things up, making sure everything is 100 percent, and as you just, you just once it's at 100, you put it in your inventory, wait until everything is ready to go, slap everything on, and then you should get the uh, you should get the achievement. You still have that first achievement going on two and a half, 2,500 hours. Well, well, Bash, what you doing, brother? Even I have it, and I'm a nobody. Oh, I guess you're, you know, you're out there breaking tournaments over your knee. You don't have to chase achievements. You're too lazy. Well, I mean, okay, if you say so. <laughs> Feels weird to call someone who, like, finished the Reference Express Challenge in less than a day lazy, but, all right, okay. Okay, so let's see. What else? What other weight can we shed before we set out here? Um, well, whatever we do, we can't put it in here. If I can drop any of this gear. We're trying, Astrid. Trust me, we're trying. No, leave the burdock. We'll go ahead and prep up those birch bark. Never enough birch bark, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, uh, so let's see. Fuel-wise, that's fine. We keep the cardboard matches around for starting torches, and we keep the wood matches and the fire striker for emergencies. A little bit of walking around fuel. Okay, do we need all these go drinks? Probably not. Am I am I gonna keep them anyway? No, I, I really want to. Yeah, they they are, they are like a quarter of a kilogram each, so they're they're almost a torch each. Oh, good grief! Really.
Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Four, four is enough. Uh, yeah, we don't. Yeah, we're not walking around with any spare clothing. That's that's an easy way to. Oh wait, yeah, yes, we are. Um, I forgot we also got that pair of wool socks that we definitely do not need. Oh yeah, we also picked up a bunch of cloth and leather, but we we could do some repairs before we head out. That'll probably shave that down. Yeah, there's no. Okay, other than like the four liters of water, which we probably don't need all of. Okay, I think we're, yeah, we're we're getting down to a good traveling weight. Right yeah, this is all pretty much all like traveling food, so that's fine. There, Astrid, please shush. We're strategizing here. Uh, actually, and why, why am I even eating those? Why, why, why am I even eating those when there's massive piles of meat just outside the door? Anyway. Okay. Meds? Fine. We, we, we could stand for a couple more bandages, but we have the cloth for that. We're okay. Yeah, we'll do some repairs. Food-wise, we're okay. Uh, Tool-wise... Yep, yeah, yeah, pretty well... Pretty well where we were. And then mats... Yeah, that's all good. Um, okay, well, yeah, so as long as we have the light, let's do those repairs. And you having the, uh, having a 100% chance of success really does, it does make mending much less nerve-wracking. Although, what it takes to get there, well, that that's its own form of psychological damage. Okay, we're at 45.22. Just like barely, barely above carrying weight. Okay, I think if we... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find, we'll find some. We'll sum some, some. Yeah, I think, I think we are set. Yeah, we're all set there. Um, oh, right. Um, I, actually, let, let me make a an actual, like, physical note on, like, pen on paper note to myself to... Yeah, we need the prepper pie ingredients. Acorns we got. Um, yeah, the reishi mushrooms are in... They're in the... Uh, they're in the, in the bingo hall? They're either in the bingo hall or the farmhouse. We're going to go by both. It'll be fine. Uh, we need to find one burdock root. I'm sure there'll be one out there somewhere. Actually. Didn't I see one out here? Or did I imagine it? I might have imagined it. I am quite tired. Oh, what's this? A clear sky at sunset all of a sudden? Hmm. That's not suspicious in the least. Yeah, if we can get this, that, uh, that second bit of burdock, that'd be good. Spare our spells, uh, just a little bit, uh, a little bit scavenging as we go. I think I, I remember seeing like one. I know I saw one burdock along the uh, along the river, coming here, uh, in in PV. But if you can speed that up a little bit. That would be just fine by me. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll we'll go we'll go for a little bit of scavenging. I guess if we see some mushrooms too, we can grab those. Um, but yeah, I think we'll. We will more than likely call the stream there because it is 20 till 2 in the morning and I have to, and at work tomorrow. And tomorrow, my last day of work for a couple of weeks because I am 
I'm getting on a jet plane and going to the UK. And incidentally, I will not be streaming. Oh, and, and that reminds me. Um, all right, I'll, 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 uh, Tina and Prof Nels folks who came in. If anyone is interested, I have, after almost a year of streaming, finally set up a Discord. I know, what's my rush, right? Okay. Oh, and this guy is turning red. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go on a quick mushroom chase here. Uh, so glad I got to... Caught you got your... Well, I, yeah, I'm... Well, I, I'm glad you... Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have you, Tina. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to have you around. Really appreciate you and... You being here, being such a fantastic part of the community. And, uh being such a great example for your fellow streamers in how to you know keep streams on task total focus under control it is honestly it is a it is a privilege to watch your laser like focus and the uh, and the great support you get from your chat I thought there were some, thought there were some mushroom uh, stumps out there, but really, I mean, y'all could have been going after all those juicy deer that are out there, but no, you had to come after me. You, you get what you get what you get the sun is setting It'll be a lot colder soon your buddy smooth over sarcasm is a press well well thank you Dina yeah so uh, that is a uh, that deadpan delivery has been uh, it has been perfected over many years and uh, many even more years of watching British sitcoms. So. I don't know if it's something I, I have actively tried to harness or if it's just, you know, an outgrowth of, you know, the, the media I consume and the people I hang around. Please, I, but no, it, it, yes, much, much like AV, I only tease out of love. Because, because you are, Isaac, Tina, you are one of the best out there. You know, it's, it's not, not just, you know, the, the streams are one thing, but like, it's like you're not just the streams, but like you're watching, because I, I, I think I've been watching you long enough to see, you know, your confidence grow, not as a streamer, but as a player as well. Cause like you, you know, you, you've worked yourself up, not, not just a confident loper player, but you know, a darn good one. You you can hold your own out there. And I think... Especially as, as someone who's kind of in a similar boat in terms of, like, you know, finding their way as a... Uh, well, as, as a streamer and as a... As a long dark player. To see, to see people make that kind of progression and, you know, do so... Not just successfully, but joyously so. That is fantastic to see. Like you, and and like the hobbits, you know, Dun, Koru, B, Burb. You know, they, they were much like you know, like they're like Voyager, you know, Pilgrim Voyager players who jumped into Loper, and they they they, they, they there were struggles, admittedly, but you know, look at them now. I mean, like you know, very tiny Burb, she has a, a Loper PB of over two hundred days, and she hasn't played that many runs. You know, it, it is inspiring to see. It never fails to surprise me how completely without the intelligence you are. 
thank, thank you, Mighty High. I was, I was getting, we were getting perilous, perilously close to being heartfelt there, and I, 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 I appreciate you checking me on that. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not finding any mushrooms or any burdock, so boo. Even this, it's beginning to help you grow the concept. Well, that, it, uh, I, in, and I, I mean this in every sense of the phrase, Tina. It has been my pleasure to be there, experiencing that journey with you. Okay, I don't. Mm. Okay, well, before the game decides to drop another Aurora on us, we uh, we've had issues with those recently. We were we were uh, we were in Milton at the trailer just before the uh, you know by the entrance to, to HRV. And we were outdoors trying to cook up the stalker pie recipe we just got. And, well, um, having all that meat around got the attention of one of the local Aurora wolves. And Astrid's reflexes, well, they weren't, they weren't quite as quick as they should have been. And we got away with it because we're here, right? But still, um, it was a good reminder that, you know, I, I should not be as cavalier about having her out and about during Auroras as I do. And... It doesn't look like an Aurora, but it, you know, it, it feels like it could turn over into one at any moment. So, I think we're going to call our Burdock and uh, Mushroom Search off for the evening. And get her to where she can have a nice long sleeve. Thank you, game. I know we've been far too long without a sprain. Thank you. I love this fun and interactive part of gameplay. I'm not even going to bandage this. She's just going to sleep it off. As far as you last heard, oh yeah, 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 Tina, you were, you like, you were, you were one of the ones who, you know, gave me that the the nudge that pushed me over into giving this a shot. And actually, yeah, I think you you were one of the you were one of the few who were there day one when I, I was I was streaming. Was it no? It was wide out. Yeah, because we uh we it because it was in that one clip where you know you mentioned the one rifle spawn point that I'd forgotten. And the rifle was the last thing I needed to finish the challenge. And I appreciated that, and I really appreciate you, you know, appreciate you. I just, here, let, let me go full LD. I appreciate you, just in all senses. Now, I would also appreciate finding a full moose steak, but no, I think... Sure I carry much more. These seem to have lost their cooking five buff, but that's fine. We got plenty. Yes, yeah, so like, uh, like a fresh venison steak we cook has more than a thousand calories, but these moose steaks, which are, you know, supposed to be even more calorie dense, they only have 800, so something is clearly amiss. But that's okay. What we lack for inaccurate, excuse me, what we lack in accurate math, we make up for in volume. All right. Yes, Astrid, I am. I am well aware you are so very, very parched. Okay. That's how. Oh yeah, meter's full. Yeah, we'll just give her. We'll give her a full nine. And yeah, yeah. Why not? Did did end up being pretty fun. Um, it's just 
Oh, did I? Oh, wait, are you waking up to an Aurora? Ooh. Okay, that is... Oh, it's one of the Auroras that comes right up to sunrise. Isn't that nifty? So, it turns out, in this rare instance, the game is not making me a liar. It just waited way longer than I thought. Anyway. Yeah, I see. How... Oh, yeah, she could use an extra three hours. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, we'll call it there. Because um, I said I do need to crawl into bed. But before we do, we'll do our customary journal check. Astrid has been alive for 283 days and counting. And in those 283 days, we spent most of them in Timberwolf Mountain. Not surprisingly. 283 days and... 306 wolf kills. Yeah, we're, we're actually the the trend. We, we might fall behind our uh, average of one wolf kill per day. Uh, it would be devastating if that was the case. We just might have to do something about that. Um, right. And then 142 blizzards in 283 days. So yeah, we are still keeping up our average about a blizzard every other day. What fun that is. So as I say, folks, we are going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. Big thanks to Prof Nels and to Tina for the raid. You fantastic people. And thanks to everyone for hanging out and chatting. You know, Tina, Mighty High. You know, Will's been here. Bash. We had Chill Darkness. Appreciate you. Also, hey, Sarah, welcome in. Always great to have you. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah, we also had a Shiggity among our uh, first time chatters always always fun to have new people here all right and we had uh peach bee and dauntless all men are cool people here so yeah thank you to all the chatties thank you to all the lurkers as i always like to say you know the lurkers are the backbone of any channel and you know they're happy to have people hanging out in whatever form they choose to do so so yeah um we're going to close out, as we always do, by finding someone to raid. Yeah, um, I will... I am not going to be back for... Let me let me actually click on the little thing here. Yeah, I will... So, no streams this coming weekend, and then no streams the following weekend. At least that's the plan. Um, if, by chance, things change, I will let everyone know on the Discord. So, if, if, you, if you haven't already, please do you know, check out that link. The, the, the invite should still be active. But yeah, and then as we always do here, we'll wrap things up by finding someone to raid. Let's see. I don't actually know that many people doing... Oh, oh hey, here we go. Ooh, we can raid someone new. Or, or at least new to me. L let me check and make sure they're still on, though. That's kind of important. <laughs> uh oh yes it, it okay they're on their brb screen but i think we can make this happen okay yeah folks we are gonna go raid nuka baby um they got we got a a, a a a suggestion for them yesterday but i think we we went with a different we went a different way but yeah let's go raid nuka baby uh folks if you can stick around for the raid i'd really appreciate it Show them some love. And uh, yeah, everyone, have a great rest of your day. And however much weekend you still have left. And we'll see you next time um, in, I guess, a week or two, barring any ch unforeseen changes. So have a good one. We'll catch you later.